You did not have permission to use this video. You must remove it immediately. Carl Harvaldson if you were proud of what you said you would want this shared everywhere. And of course I said dollars rather than USDT. I think you're disgusting and it's about time somebody brought you down. Now not sure why you and everyone else is trying to smear my reputation calling me a scammer. I have never in my entire career ever scammed anyone. I'm going to go to every newspaper I can and show them this very video. So I have 100% clarity of exactly what's happening with hypercosmos. Yeah, so I have to onboard people into uh, this this new thing, which exactly. I don't know. I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that with people, given my experience with Hyperverse. Okay, all the money that's in yeah. there, just walk away, forget about it, because you're never going to get it. So I, I never get the money. You'll never get the money. And putting them on the line to risk losing all okay, the money. Okay, I'm not going to get into an argument. If you're not happy with it, please leave and then get your information elsewhere. You are a plonker, Carl. You are just friggin' an animal. You're the bottom of the ocean feeder. You're in the sewers, mate. You're a disgusting individual. All right, I'm going to ring him. Um, uh, problem here. Hello? Yeah, g'day. Is that Carl? Yeah, it is. Yeah, g'day, g'day mate. Hey, we're just, um, I've just been watching your video on YouTube um, explaining how Hypercosmos works. Yeah. And I was just curious, um, we're actually streaming live on the internet at the moment. I'm wondering, do you realise it's a Ponzi scheme? Hello, I'm Danny DeHeck. Thank you for pressing play. Now this video that I'm about to show you is breathtaking. Explosive video destroys hypercommon and hypernation. And unfortunately for all those people invested in hyperverse that were hoping to get their one times reward back have just found out the whole lot has been a scam. And not only that, one of the leaders has basically produced a video throwing himself under the bus and I want to I want you to be with me now this is also going to be a podcast and it's also going to be a tube cast now the reason I'm doing this is this guy Kyle I can't even read his last name because I'm very dyslexic if you don't know but let's have a listen and see if the computer can do it for me Kyle Harvaldson Harvaldson he's a Canadian now the thing about this why I'm doing a podcast and why I'm doing a tube cast and I've also created a blog is that, that so when anyone searches for this guy's name, he will be everywhere on the internet. AKA the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger is the name I got given by a full page article in the New York Times. And my mission is to name and shame people who are promoting Ponzi schemes. Carl, in this video, tells us all that he's been multi-level marketing for 42 years. He's been involved in crypto for nine years and he's never seen as good as an opportunity as I'm about to show you thrown on his front doorstep. Now this one is Hypercosmo and basically if you recruit people into Hypercosmo, Cosmos, something, you get 50% of it and he said it's unheard of and he said and what they're trying to do is just get people to sign up for $100 and you'll get $50. And he said, when people see the money coming in, this will just take off, and it will leave Hyperverse for dead. However, there's no money to actually do this. So he's telling everyone to have faith, and if you want to carry on being a scammer, then you need to move over to Hyper um, Cosmos and just forget the past and head forward like a freight train. And this is how I likened this to my friend Rob, who bet me to producing a video about this. He's done it quite differently than I'm about to do it. I'm on a crusade to really name and shame this guy. So let me give you a little bit of history about this. We're going to go into workshop mode. Now I want to give you a list of events. So first of all, we've got Carl. Carl, uh, I have been gathering information about Carl and other people who po um, promote Ponzi scheme. So if you go to Carl's um, page that I've got about him, um, you can see that he has got 
himself quite rampant on social media. He uses Twitter, YouTube, Telegram, WhatsApp, Vimeo, and Skype. He's got two phone numbers, and I actually rung him. Yes, I wanted to test to see if the phone number was working. So, Carl, if you're watching this, it was me who rang up. And I said, this is Danny from SWAT, and we've got your house surrounded, and I've got the job of ringing up to see whether you're home. I'll see you soon. And then I hung up on him. So that might have scared him. Who knows? I don't think this guy is scareable. I don't think he's care. He, uh, he cares. He's rampant at being behind these Ponzi schemes. So the other Ponzi schemes he's been doing over the last... Um, or oh, he's been doing them for the last 42 years, but here's some of them that you may have heard in the crypto world. Ultron, Novatech FX, Macro Gold, Whippafund, Pegasus, and everything hyper. Yep, everything hyper. And he's also been in uh, behindmlm.com. I noticed he had an article. He said he was making $4,500 a day, $4,500 per day out of Hyperverse. Um, and in this video, he's absolutely rampant. And why don't we have a look at his house and where he lives? So if you want to go visit him. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I have been in the New York Times. And when you go to newspapers and you say, hi, I'm Danny, the New York, New York Times had a whole page of me. I would like you to investigate this guy. I give them the information you're looking at at the moment. So this is his house. This is where he lives. And as I said, I'm building up a whole... Um, a portfolio of everyone that's involved in these Ponzi schemes. Uh, so let's get to the house. So the next thing, let me go through a little bit of the timeline. So what actually happened with the video? First of all, I want to show you that I grabbed the video and I put it onto my Odyssey account. Now, Odyssey is a fantastic platform where it's on the blockchain and it's impossible to get your videos or any video off there. So that's why if you want to go watch the full version of this video that's been um, un, um, played with, um, by all means you can. But what he's done, he's actually taken that video off his own Vimeo account because he found out even though at the start of the video he says that he had 100% clarity uh, of where Hyper, Hyper Cosmo is because he's just got off the phone with his upline which is Pinnacky Nark! Yes, Pinnacky Nark and then obviously he's right underneath Keith William and the reason why he's in that team because he said he's bounced around different teams is because he has daily contact with the people at the top. He just got off the phone for Pinnacky Nark and he said that he had full clarity of what's been happening with Hyper Cosmo and he wanted to do a, a Zoom meeting all about it. Anyway, so since I had my video here on this platforms, um, the hyper community picked up the video, which I'll get in a minute, and they put him in the here. And I've just got to go through some of the comments, for example, but it's breathtaking stuff. I've never seen this. I truly believe this can be the downfall of hyperverse, hyper nation, hyper fund, hyper everything. So let's have a listen. Uh, I've copied this all onto a blog, which I'm going to show you over here. And I've got the whole lot scribed into text with all the timelines. And I also um, mention a conversation that went on with my buddy, um, Rob Woolley. And I'm actually going to read that to you. I wanted to get it off the internet before this video actually got removed because he's threatened that if they don't remove it, this is actually what he wrote to the hyper community people. First off, I'm an affiliate, not a node. So you misrepresented this video with your title. You did not have permission to use this video. You must remove it immediately. I have already reported you to YouTube for using my video without permission. So that means he could actually get the hyper community a copyright strike. But the funny thing is, I think he's going to have a hard time doing that because he's removed it off his Vimeo channel, which would mean he would have to upload the video to the Vimeo channel to actually prove it was his. So that's probably why it's still there. I'm just... Um, now this is the conversation that went on and it's worth listening to. This isn't the real stuff, but this is stuff I don't want you to miss. H Community Hypercosmos Pro Node Meeting 2022 Deck. You have until the end of the day or I take further action. This is a copyright violation of my own property. So then my mate Rob chimed in. Carl Harvaldson, if you were proud of what you said, you would want this shared everywhere. Wanting it taken down is telling. This is brilliant. So why do people want these videos removed if they're not promoting some illegal activity, Carl? Rob Woolley, I am getting flack from the company on this because they said there were some things that were said incorrectly. 
so I was asked to get it taken down. I am all for full disclosure but I'm also about telling all the facts. If I said something incorrect, the video must be taken down and redone. Now, whoever posted this, should have asked permission. It's a copyright violation to post other people's video without permission. Oh, whatever, Carl. What is um, Google's philosophy? Better to um, beg for forgiveness rather than ask for permission? Rob said. Carl Harvalds and I bet you, but I'm not convinced anything was incorrect. Here's your chance to correct it. What part is wrong? You have everyone's attention. <laughs> Good on you, Rob. Let's carry on. Rob Woolley, the product is the Academy and Hyperverse is Hypercosmos and Hyperverse are intertwined. You can move back and forth between each platform. I admit is was poorly designed that way, but a product exists. Therefore legit. They just basically readed the comp plan so it was referral only. People buy Cosmos packages as they bought Hyper packages and both have the Academy as their product. And this one from Rob again. Rob Woolley, the part I had okay. wrong was the HB part. HBs are only used to fund the Hypercosmos accounts to where they are pending frozen rewards. They will not be used for paying out the accounts as I stated in the call. I received incorrect information. So basically converting HU to HB, then moving it to Hypercosmos to appending rewards in their called frozen rewards like pending rewards in Hyperverse. New sales are now required to pay out those pending rewards instead of a Rabuai feature they had in Hyperverse. And of course I said dollars rather than USDT. That upset them as well. I hope this clears things up. Now do you see why I need to redo this? Who I don't want cares? everyone thinking I gave them the wrong info. You did. I simply you misunderstood the info I received and delivered it incorrectly. You're an idiot, Carl. You're a greedy, bottom-feeding person that really needs to go Oops. jail. I think you're disgusting, and it's about time somebody brought you down. Now, the reason why I'm using all this information and putting it all online, and I've also made it very... I've baffled, muffled the voices of Carl so that we can use this as evidence of him promoting Ponzi schemes, and we can get him off and into jail but anyway let's carry on it's worth listening to kids it will get better in a minute we'll, we'll have time stamps in this and this will be the comment section don't you want the real info rob i know i do so i can move on in whatever direction i choose to go all right carl continues besides the title of that video was never to do with a node that's what really got everyone upset now my plan doesn't talk to me so i may never get the real truth now that's on you now if this is your youtube channel Oh my goodness, this guy's getting desperate. Carl Harvaltz, and why would that upset anyone? Wouldn't you be more upset if you were sold into Hypercosmos by someone gaining a 50% commission and all you get is access to the Hyperverse Academy and a chance to sell others the same thing? I would think that would be a great way to make myself look stupid and lose friends. There's a real opportunity here coming up to Christmas to pay back the 1x in USDT to everyone in HV, HN and HC and just shut shop and move on. Is HN going anywhere fast? That would be a massive gesture of goodwill and they would still have the database many believe is the real value to them. See, this is the interesting thing. Can you imagine your mate, your family member, because he talks about that you need to sell these, um, these packages that you can make up yourself and you sell it to a friend of yours and then they realize that you got 50% of the money um, just because they sold you a package. How would you feel that your friend took 50% of the money in commission just because he signed you up to a Ponzi scheme. Rob Woolley, I was just relaying the info I got. I now regret anything to do with this. I'm focused on hypernation. I was just trying to pass on info. Not sure why you and everyone else is trying to smear my reputation calling me a scammer. I'm just passing on the info that I got from my pline. Jeez man. So tired of people twisting things and using other people as a smear campaign because they are upset. I have never in my entire career ever scammed anyone. Oh in fact, God. I give a ton of money away to help people make money and this is how people like you treat us. I hope you are proud of yourself and everyone else that is part of this attack on me. Get me a bucket. Carl, I'm going to go to every newspaper I can and show them this very video. This is, you've just thrown yourself under a bus. You are an idiot, mate. If you think that you haven't scammed everyone, you're selling packages, getting 50% commission when the company doesn't even have a product or service. I've just published some articles on my website about what is a Ponzi scheme. Maybe you need to go read them and find out what you're actually promoting, which is illegal. I'm pretty sure promoting 
a Ponzi scheme in Canada is illegal. You've just thrown yourself under the bus with this evidence. This is why I'm recording this stuff. I'm going to take you down if I can. Carl Harvold, and just read this. Are you insinuating this is my channel? No, I have my own and if you feel I am incorrect on anything, feel free to point it out. Would you be interested in being interviewed to clear the air on this and everything else? Good on you, Rob. Yes, interview these guys. They never want to come on an interview because they can't. I've got Andre Christensen from Super.1 who wanted me to put his name right. So I gave him, he said, give me the questions. I'd come on your uh, on your tube cast. And would you believe he didn't, he, he, I got the questions, told me he got them and he'll schedule a time on a Wednesday and then he delayed it. And three weeks later, nothing's happened, haven't heard from him. They don't want to answer our questions because they can't, they're lying scumbags. Right, and the last one from Rob. Carl Harvold sent to dissect your points. You relayed information and said it was correct and you're now saying it's not. Why are those higher up not clarifying this? Why are they always hidden? You seem to say hypernation was floundering in this video. Did I get that correct? I've never said you're a scam and nor do I try to smear your reputation. Do you not believe this to be true? The people I see and hear criticizing HVETC seem to have good reason. Do you think all critics are lying and these opportunities are legitimate? Were they not told passive income? 3x, then 4x? Where's the 1x in USDT as opposed 1x in HU which seems to have little or no value? In your video you say you give away something of little value or did I get that wrong? Do you give away cash or USDT? This isn't about your ego or mine. This is about trying to get the truth so people can make legitimate choices in how to use their money. People asking for the truth are dream stealers. They are people who passionately care about other people, their money, and their relationships with the people they recruit in good faith. I hope you do too. Wow, it's incredible. Oh, there's somebody I know. Hello, a lot of people on here. I'm going to carry on and listen to this because this is priceless and I want to record this in history in this video. Rob Woolley, I agree. I don't believe that this is the solution, but that's what they gave us. All I was doing was giving everyone the info I received. I'm not happy about it either, Rob. In fact, I have not received any more info from my plan or the company regarding Hypercosmos, so I have decided to just wait and see what they do. I have now taken down all my info regarding it. I don't think I was looking stupid relaying info about how they wanted to do things. I'm an affiliate just like everyone else. I was a V5 and I left most of my money in the platform as I believed in them. So to say I'm not angry, I am but it's only money. It's not like I haven't lost before. What angers me is the time I lost and I can't get that back. So, I'm moving forward with Hypernation as it actually is built the right way. Too bad they didn't build Hyperverse that way but that's because they didn't have the new investors they do now in Hypernation. They built the new platform for Hypernation. Everyone is sour. I get that but you can't let the past dictate your present. Have a great week ahead Rob and everyone else. Oh what a lovely guy you are Carl. You missed out the part that you were taking four and a half thousand dollars out of Hyperverse every day. Yeah. So it can't have been that bad, Hyperverse, but what happened is it stopped, didn't it? Because they ran out of money because it's a Ponzi scheme. Let's see what else Carl's trying to back, back up the bus with. H community, I have nothing to do with Hyperverse other than being an affiliate like everyone else trying to figure out how to get paid. How I look at it, they won't pay anyone that lives the HUs in Hyperverse, so just move them to Hypercosmos and if they still don't pay, then you're still in the same position. That's all I was trying to tell people. If you sell 100 USDT memberships with HC which includes the Academy and HV, so there is your product, then your rewards will pay out. If Hyperverse was still running, it would be the same thing except now it's new sales rather than rebuys. Anyways, I think I've explained myself and if you still want to attack me, think about what you are attacking. I'm not the company. Oh my goodness, what's really sick about this Carl, is that you're a two-faced son of a gun. You have said in the video that we're about to watch in a few minutes that you are offering packages of $100. You're going to give away um, $6,000 to build your downline, is that right, upline, or your team around you. And then you've told people that how hard can it be to sell a package where you get 50%. I don't think I can say it better than Rob. So let's read the last reply. I don't know. If we, oh, this is Rob's reply here. Carl Harvaldson the other day, weren't you saying this is brilliant or words to that effect? 
<laughs> Weren't you saying you thought heaps of people would sign people up for a 50% commission? I can think of many who wouldn't sign people up when the only supposed product seems to have no value to most people. And many people have lost out and you'd be encouraging many more people to go the same way. People were still getting signed into HV even after it had been shut down. I don't think you were looking stupid. As such, I think you were doing what your reply wants you to do. Attempt to bring in more money. They make 35-50% of every USDT put in. And I did notice there was hardly any mention about Hyperlabs and the research. That's obviously not a product as you didn't mention it. Where's the money from the trading of products and services HF, HV and HN have supposedly been doing? Or was there no income happening as I couldn't see where anyone could buy anything even if they wanted to? The money only seems to have come from members' funds, am I wrong? When you were taking out the $4,500 a day from HV did you stop to think whose money you were taking? And unless I misheard, I thought you said Hypernation was flailing too? Correct. You seem to have a lot of drive and talent, thought of doing something else. Obviously not. Uh, and the last one of that, uh, why that you listen to that, I'm just going to go flip because what I'm doing, I've actually taken the voice out of this, produced a video, and I'm actually premiering it as we speak. And so if you want to watch the full length video of him talking about it, uh, it's not too bad to listen to. It's not perfect, um, but it's um, clear enough where you can understand what Carl is actually saying. Uh, and I'm premiering, premier, I can't even say it, it's premiering, I can't even say it, on my YouTube channel right now, and I'm going to go and see if anyone's watching it live as it premieres. I got it right. Right, here we go. Robert Woolley, after having this long conversation, I know what you were saying about the product side. I have personally stopped with Hypercosmos until they put a current usable product. I have recommended to them to import one of the HN products to give value as the HV Academy is outdated and I'm personally not good with that. I do appreciate this long conversation as it has made me rethink things. I have morals and ethics I stand by and this exchange made me reevaluate things, so thanks for that. I do believe Hypernation does have the proper products and I'm good with that. People can always send me things to look at. I may not take action depending on what it is. I only do crypto things so you know. Again, thanks and all I would request is you take this video down as info is incorrect and I'm not looking to hurt people financially. I'm all about the opposite. It's funny, Carl said in earlier, the first comment that he's already put a copyright strike out on the video, but it still remains. So that's really funny that he still claims that. So this is really cool. Um, I've got some comments. I've got three people watching this live premiere at the moment, which is fantastic. So thanks very much. If you go to my YouTube channel, you guys don't realize the power of that click of the mouse. If you hit that thumbs up button um, and also provide a comment and you are subscribed and you hit the bell, it tells YouTube you like my content. 50% of the traffic that comes from people watching my videos comes from within the YouTube community, not from people searching on the internet. However, Carl, if you are watching this, yes, I did ring you up and have a bit of fun on the phone. Thank you. And the SWAT team didn't turn up, but they won't be far away now. I'm actually doing a podcast with this very recording. And if you are listening on the podcast, go to my YouTube channel, go to theheck.com. And at dehick.com, you will find a full-length um, described blog all about this video. And there's also a page in here called Contact. And on the Contact page, you can provide information anonymously to me. And I will gather that information. And I have, after being in the New York Times, I have got some new friends with authority. And they are actively going after these scammers. They just locked up uh, Sam. Uh, Bankman, uh, you know, who obviously had the biggest exchange in the world. And these little crypto guys, well, not crypto guys, because crypto is pretty cool, but the people running these Ponzi schemes, they are ticking time bombs. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm gathering information, as you can see. Um, I've already got where he lives. I've got all the Ponzi schemes that he's been part of. I've also got background information, and I want more information about this guy, Carl. Uh, that you can help me. Right, without further ado, and I learned how to do public speaking, and that is absolutely the worst thing that you can do, I want to start listening to the video, and you can hear firsthand. So remember, this will be all time-stamped, and you will be able to fast-forward to the parts that you want to listen to. But let's get stuck into the video, and let's listen to the video, the explosive video that destroys Hypercosmo and Hypernation. All by a guy by the name of Carl, which I can't pronounce his last name, but he's not going to be my best friend now. So away, over to you, Carl. Let's get stuck into it. Let's start the show. 
Hey, good, uh, welcome everybody. Okay, so today I had a meeting with um, Pinnakey, who is my upline, who is direct to Keith Williams. And everything that I've been telling you... Now, if you're wondering why he's got a funny voice, I don't want this video removed from YouTube. It is his voice. What was his voice? Now it's some robot that's reading text. Now, do remember that if you go to my YouTube channel on the top right hand side, there is actually Odyssey. And on Odyssey, you will find this full video if you want to watch it. And you won't have my commentary on that one if you don't like listening to my voice. But let's get stuck in it because there's some amazing stuff in here. I'm going to go through the first hour of this and then the rest of it, you can go watch the rest of it on my Odyssey channel if you want. Or the video that is premiering at the moment has the complete sound recording for you to listen to. All right, let's get back into them. Remember, 100% clarity has just been given to my pinnacle. No! Okay. All right. I'm getting excited. I'm getting into this now. It's taken me a whole three or four days to get into the mojo of doing this video. And I'm pumped. Let's take this guy down. I need your help. You has been absolutely bang on, but there's was a little bit missing, which I got clarity on today. So I have 100% clarity of exactly what's happening with hypercosmos and why it's being done this way. Okay, so I need to go back a little bit to Hyperverse. Okay, so the moment Hyperverse was halted, and the reason it was halted, because again, we had certain individuals in the company that were manipulating the system, the payout system, by creating massive amount of accounts using bots. So those individuals were reprimanded or terminated. Their accounts were frozen. All assets were frozen because they violated all of the terms and conditions. Okay. Many of them went on to do smear campaign about Hyperverse, about, you know, Sam Lee and Ryan Jew taking all the money and running off and all that kind of stuff. I, I just got to interrupt here. I'm I'm privy to so much information that I can't even tell you. And there's you guys that are involved as um, multi-level marketing. You're just the marketing team. All these crypto guys are in bed together. So you've got Ryan Zhu, Sam Lee, and every one of these Ponzi scheme guys, the, the creators that are running these Ponzi schemes are playing everyone that's investing money in it. And they're only after pump and dumping these coins. So just bear in mind, like, you know, I get um, messages about what people are up to, where they're traveling to, who they're talking to all the time. And I can't say what I want to say some of the times, but these guys are just playing everyone that's investing money. And it's all about the money, guys. They just want to take your money from you. And Carl, who thinks he's doing a good thing and making a living because he's just doing multi-level marketing, he's promoting a Ponzi scheme. It's illegal. And it's just disgusting. But anyway, sorry, I'll carry on. I don't know what I was trying to say then. <laughs> okay. Again, smear campaigns are something that was not true. Now, the reason that they had to halt Hyperverse is because the resource pool was low. That's another word for no money left. And it couldn't continue to pay out everybody at 1x. Because all the VIPs, five, were in the, it's stealing the loot, stuffing their boots. They were emptying the vaults. Like Cole Pish Patel, a million dollars a day was going out to him. Ke Keith Williams, Brenda Chunder, um, Bitcoin Rodney, um, you know, the other guys, Mick um, the from Cork, who works for Cork Red FM in Cork or something. He, he's... Okay. So they created Hypercosmos. Now, the other reason why they couldn't pay everybody out, I shouldn't say that the resource pool was low. The resource pool, the money in the resource pool was one-tenth the value. So HBs in the pool were not valued at one to one. They were valued at 10 to one. Okay. Because the value of HB dropped significantly. See, a lot of this information is actually timelined wrong because there was no talk of hyper 
Cosmo. There was no talk of HB. There was no talk of, um, um, you know, hypernation. And it's only when the money dried up and everyone was up in arms. It was like this is all a big exit strategy and they've come up with these other schemes. And they've got a community there, so why don't we continue to fleece the community and come up with other opportunities? Of Obviously, this one has really blown them out of the water because what you're going to learn about hypercosmos is it's designed to get the last blood out of the, st the stone. Excuse me. Okay, because of everything that happened throughout the HU, I should say, Trump, significantly. So, so the HUs were a 10 to 12 to 1 value. So paying people out would have depleted the pool before everybody was paid. Okay, does everybody understand that? Okay, so their reasoning for hypercosmos was... They're going to continue to do what they're doing in Hyperverse with the, the payouts of the HUs converting to HB at a one-to-one -to, -one to bring over. But the only way it will, HB will be one-to-one -one on the USDT is going to be if new USDT comes in. Now, Oh, my God. Now, just stay focused on that. This whole strategy around this is so that you – or anyone you introduce introduces more cash, more USDT. All right, that's the whole game. It doesn't matter. They're telling you to convert one shit coin to another. I don't even think it's a coin, it's a token. You're playing with monopoly money to encourage other people that have known nothing about this. Now, Carl will go on to say and if, uh, later on down the track that he's offering rewards if you can introduce new people that have never heard of Hyperverse before, or Hyperfund, or Hypercapital or Colin Star Group, or Hypernation, or Hypercosmo. If you know anyone who, who has never invested in a Ponzi scheme, he's going to give you a free account because he knows that people don't understand all the timelines. And people like me have watched all these videos. The sad thing about it is that the timelines don't add up. These are all afterthoughts, which is ridiculous. So let him carry on for a bit. I might go get a drink because my voice is getting a bit hard. I'm talking too much already. I'm only about 10 minutes in. How HB will get its value back is that when new USDT comes into the system, so it doesn't mean you putting new money in, it's you creating new sales into Hypercosmos, starting with just $100 packages for people. You will make an immediate $50. Now, Hypercosmos is paying out right now on all US dollar deposits. So if you sign up somebody today for $100 USDT, you will be paid $50. That $50 will immediately be put into your balance for you to withdraw immediately. It is happening right now. It is not happening with HB because the value of HB needs to increase. How that's done is for every HB that you have in here, I think I've got to share my screen just to... Um, if you're on the podcast, sure. um, you won't okay. be able to see the shared screen, just saying. And I found myself a beer. Uh, Corona. Most of the right screen. Okay, so I've got to go to my account. Let me just, I just got to move some stuff here. Sorry. reason why I'm doing a podcast with this information is when I create a podcast, it gets shared on uh, 20 different podcast directories like iTunes, Spotify, Google um, Podcasts, and it gets out to the masses. And that literally when you search for Carl's name in a couple of days' time, he'll be everywhere because I have a massive footprint on my, my website reach. So um, that guy's name is going to be Dirt, and I'm using everything I know to, to throw at him. And then I'm going to go to the newspapers in Canada and report him for promoting these Ponzi schemes. That's my mission. So any information you have on Carl, any dealings that you've had with them, go to deheck.com, which I'm going to show you once again. Uh, go to deheck.com, click on uh, the Contact Us button, and you'll be able to go to a form where you can submit photos, evidence, anything you like, uh, Dropbox links if you want, and um, that would be absolutely awesome. The other thing you can do is just go to danny.co.nz. It goes to the same place. Just kidding. All righty. All right, let's carry on. Let's condemn and get this guy off the streets. 
So this is good news. People are getting paid in Hypercosmos right now. But now, do you hear that? People are getting paid in Hypercosmo right now. Now, I'm going to explain this because my voice is better than his croaky, funny one that he's got manipulated there, which basically means, and this is how it's worked all the way along. So I'm going to go large screen on this. Now, if you haven't invested in these things, it's all about the referral. Now, the people that are promoting it get the money out straight away. The people that invest have to wait for their investment to mature. Now, the real sick thing about this hypercosmo, I don't even know what people are buying. There's people that come in and ask questions in a few minutes who don't even know what they're selling. And he goes, it's just a package. And I'm like, are people stupid? And then they go, oh, well, you get the benefit of the academy. And the academy, when I looked at it, because I've got full access to it and I didn't pay anything, is all about how to go about recruiting people to sell them things, like um, the Ponzi scheme. So it's not even applicable to Hypercosmos, which is really stupid. So it all doesn't make sense. Um, I don't know why I started saying that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so how it used to be, if I recruited somebody and they, they put in 1000 I would get $200 straight into my account. And if I left that money there to mature over the 600 days, or then they changed it to 1,330 days, it would three times its value, whatever it's worth, or four times its value. So a lot of people were selling memberships in Hyperverse and getting $200 straight away. Then if the person they recruited also recruited someone, and they spend a thousand. The, the initial person would get another hundred and fifty, and then three tiers down, if they recruited somebody who spent a thousand, they would get another um, hundred dollars. And we worked out, my mate Rob and I, that if you every bit of money that goes into Hyperverse, fifty-two percent of that went away in rewards. Now, Hypercosmos. Is basically saying if you refer somebody, we're going to bypass all the, all the other shit, you know, all the different levels. We're just going to give you fifty percent straight away, and then I don't quite follow it, but there's another fifteen percent that they pay up to maybe a second tier, which leaves thirty five percent in the pool, for Hyper Cosmo to sustain itself. I mean, I've never heard anything so ridiculous, and that's why it's really weird. Anyway, let's go back to the video and let's see what else Carl. Um, I'm going to make a name up for him. I'm going to call him Carl Harvinson. Harvinson? Harvinson? Carl Harvinson. Haven't seen you very long. Haven't seen you yet. But I will. I'll come visit you in prison. Oh, prison noise. Prison noise coming up. Hold up. Prison noise. Hey. Only on USDT deposits. Uh, whoops. That's not where I want to go. I need to go here and log in. So you can see I have 78,000 USDT sitting here. This is actually HBs, but they are immediately converted to a USDT in the system. Right. So he's just telling us he's got 78,000 USDTs in the system. However, he can't get them out, but it's equivalent to a USDT. Tell us more, Carl. So the moment... Somebody makes a deposit, it doesn't matter what the size is of USDT, you make a 50% bonus on it. That is directly given to you. It will deduct it from this. This is like your pending rewards up here. It'll deduct it from here, put it in here, and this is immediately available to withdraw on USDT deposits only. Now, let's say... Someone comes in with $1,000, and immediately you get a 500 uh, USDT match commission off of that deposit. And remember, you make it off of any deposit that comes in. Someone could put in 100 deposits, you will make 50% off of every deposit they do, okay? That then gets, that it, it takes out 500 HBs. So 500 HBs are then burned out of the, out of the system. Okay, this is how the value of HB will come back. So when every HB is burned, what that does is it starts to increase its value. So at some point, when you are coming over with your HBs and you're 
creating a, um, new packages with them, at some point, when the value has increased, they haven't said what it's going to get to, but when it starts to make its comeback, they will then start to pay out in HBs. But for right now, it's only going to be on USDT deposits. Now, you got to remember, you got to think, we're here. You're taking all of your HBs from Hyperverts. It's going here. So now we're in a new company starting fresh. You guys are the very first people to, to register in there. Now what you need to do is go out and sell. Yeah, did you get that? I'll chime in here. So basically... What he's saying that uh, different parts of this, I've listened to this three times while I've been putting together this information because I really want to expose this guy. One point he actually says, and you'll pick up when he says it, that Hyperverse and Hibernation are two different entities, two different companies. So that, that's a real strange oxymoron there. Everyone's been hoping to get their rewards out of Hyperverse, and for some reason they believe that's possible, but everyone knows they've got no money, and I believe it was just a big exit strategy, and it's all about pump and dumping these coins and people scooping money off the top. So now he's telling you that you've just got to let bygones be bygones, forget about what's happened with Hyperverse, and start fresh with Hypercosmo. Now he's saying that if Hypercosmo takes off like Hyperverse did, this is even better. He said that most of the time you were getting 10 or 20% commission, and this one has given you 50% commission. So as I said earlier on, you sell it to your mate Joe, and Joe says, did you receive 50% of my money when I paid into this Ponzi scheme? Now when the Ponzi scheme falls over, because they all do, kids, your neighbor, your friend is going to come back to you and go, well, I want the 50% that you received and you took out and cashed out um, back from you. Can you imagine how many friends you're going to have when this is all finished? None. And you're going to go to jail. Do not get involved in this Ponzi scheme. And if you do, and I see you in here in one of these leadership meetings, I'm going to name and shame you. Now, some of you are going to say, well, I'm not going to do this. But would you have done that in any other company you went to? So don't, don't treat this as anything any different than any other company you would go to. If he's What he's trying to tell you is don't go to wee.global and don't go to Nova uh, Tech FX, who's in the shit at the moment, just saying the minister and the bank, the two bankrupt people that are running that one have been uh, hauled over the corals, uh, corals, I don't know, been um, something rock in America, they're suing these guys, just saying. So, yeah, they don't like these other companies taking their community. This is all about keeping the community together. And uh, can't wait to the question and answer part, so I'll have to shut up and let the, you guys listen. If you want your money from Hyperverse, this is the only way it's going to get done. So the only way you're going to get done is by transferring, not the initial investment part, but the reward money into Hyperbond. Get your Hyperbond, go over to Hypercosmo, and purchase a hundred dollar, the minimum hundred dollar membership. I'm not even sure if it's a membership. I think it's a package, and that is how you get into Hyper Cosmo. And then you need to recruit people. And when you've recruited three people, you will get. You will see that your Hyper Bond is starting to build in your account. And there is a point there where you, if you haven't used USDT to buy a package you're not allowed to take the money out. But if you've used your free Hyperbond money to create a package, then you actually have to put fresh USDT into Hypercosmo to actually get the money out from the three people that you've introduced. Got that? Now, you're either going to run away in a hop and puppy situation, and that's fine. It's all okay. But those that want their money out will go out and make $100 sales and get a 50 dollar commission to it and they'll sell hundreds and hundreds of hundred dollars and they'll just be cashing out fifty dollars at a time i just love this because he's condemning himself this is the biggest hole that you've ever dug carl and you've admitted that you've got it all wrong and you have you said at the start that you have a hundred percent clarity so now everyone's just lost faith in you as a ponzi scheme promoter this is brilliant, and it just gets better. Now, if they did a triple fee like they did at a half percent a day, someone will put in a thousand dollars, and you only get ten dollars a day. Ooh! Would you rather not get a five hundred dollar commission or ten dollars a day? I want a five hundred dollar one. What would you rather get? Because at the end of the month, you're still making more on a fifty percent commission. 
You understand? And you get your money out faster. So treat this like it's a brand new company, which it is, but the company has already given you funds ahead of time. You didn't have to deposit anything. So all you have to do is go out there and promote Hypercosmos as a get a 50% commission off of every sale you make. That's all you have to do because that is what's going to attract people coming in here. They'll come in here with $100. They'll also come in here with 1000 even 10000 if they know that they can make a 50% commission on every package. And believe me, there are people out there that have money, but they're not, they don't have our previous situation of Hyperverse stuck in their head about where oh, this company. You can't have that. You have to erase that. You have to leave the past in the past and start present right here. I'm telling you now, this is how you will get your money out. It is not that hard. If oh, you're passive, me. hang on. I didn't say there was questions yet. Jesus, mate, don't interrupt the man. Goodness me, he's a professional. He'll tell you that in a minute. I will, I will yeah, ask you true. questions. I, I'm almost done. Don't disrespect the room. One sec, okay? So the company has given you a seed to start with, to start getting your money out. We should be eternally in normal great. businesses, you would have to put money in in order to get your money out. Here you don't. Here... They're giving you what you've already earned in Hyperverse and putting it here. For those of you that are brand new here and haven't been to my calls before, it is illegal for a company to take pool money from one company and throw it into another company without consent. Oh my God, I just got a bucket when he talked about illegal. Like, this is illegal. This is legal? This is legal? This is what you... Speechless. You're telling me that this is a legal Ponzi scheme and it's illegal for a Ponzi scheme to take one money out of one entity and put it into another one. That's called money laundering. I don't think anything is legal. Well, I know nothing is legal about this Ponzi scheme. What product or service have you got? Now, if you look on the right hand side of the screen here, you can see I've actually just published a whole set of blogs. Now, the, the reason why I did that is because people often ask me what the difference is between a Ponzi scheme and a pyramid scheme. So this afternoon, we, we added a few blogs basically doing that. So do check out the website. And we'll let Carl keep on condemning himself. Can you hear him? I need to get a sound effect that sounds like he's digging a hole. That's why everybody has to Sorry. transition over. At some point in time, after a certain amount of HB are burned and the value has increased, then they can start paying out with HBs and USDT. So it will start to churn at some point. But not now. The, 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 the actual liquidity pool for Hypercosmos has to start getting filled. There's no other way to do it at this point. Because if they started using HBs, we will liquidate the pool in a week. Because of the value that HB is right now. Okay, so let me take some questions. This is Put up your hand, just click the reactions button and raise your hand and I will take questions. Okay, Diodoni, go ahead. Okay, how are you come? Hi, how are you doing? Okay, I'm good, how about you? Okay, uh, I do understand that uh, uh, to to be able to withdraw in a better cosmos, we have to to bring people who we who will buy minimum one hundred package, yep. and uh, we will benefit fifty percentage of their uh, of their their package, right? Right. Yeah. So I would like to know uh, the promotion you want to start. Uh, Oh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. I'm going to, I just want to talk about this part here. I will talk. I do apologize for the sound, but I had to manipulate the voice. And obviously when you're on a Zoom meeting and a third party comes in and they haven't got really good sound gear, we do lose a lot of it. So my apologies, but that guy wasn't asking anything interesting. If you do go to my website, you will see that I actually have got the whole blog Um there and I have it all described into text so if you can't hear what they're saying please go to the website and go to the timeline it matches the same as the video you're watching 
um, and um, you can get it um, there if you really need to know. But you're not missing anything. The good stuff is very clear to easy to understand, which is coming up in a few minutes. Talk about the promotion later. Okay, yeah. just just not on, just not right now, because I have got a time yeah. slot I want to put that in. So I'll talk about that in about twenty minutes. So, I have a question. The... Yeah, you got to put up your hand, please. I'm going to do everybody in order. Thank you. Okay, so I'll answer that question in about fifteen minutes, to you, Donny. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So he's ready to scam someone else. <laughs> uh, Peter, go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, quick question. Yeah. Well, I can't remember. This. We invite new people into the business and they're putting, say, $1,000 in. How uh, do they get paid? Do they get paid on a daily basis? Or? They get paid per package sale. See, everything is paid instantly. So when you make a sale, so someone decides from outside, I've never been in here, into a hyperverse or, or anything, they come in and they buy a $100 package. You immediately will get $50, which will be deducted from your total in there and immediately cashable. Yeah. Okay, so it's all immediate cashable, okay? This is how the company is trying to win everybody back, but the compromise is, is they need the pool filled, so it requires new money. They're not asking you to put your own money in. No, 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 no. They're no, asking no. you to just refer people. You could buy a package in there with USDT and start that if you wanted to, but they're not saying for you to do that. No, no. In fact, I was talking to a guy yesterday, um, basically, I was, he was telling me, you know, you know my story and things like that. Yeah. Basically, I asked, he says, well, I want to do that. Then I, I couldn't explain to him if he puts a debt like them in Hyperverse, if you put a thousand, then you got like five dollars a day, didn't you? Yeah. How, how does he make his money? Well, those people again, you are going to convert your HUs to HBs. You're going to move them over to Hypercosmos. You're going to buy a package in there, and that package, whatever it is will 3x and it will sit in the total just like I have in mine. Okay. Like I bought a bunch of packages in here. I got 78,000 no. sitting in here that I can take out. So I go out and I say, Hey, Peter, you know, do you want to make 50% on every sale that you make? And you can, they started a hundred bucks. So if you sold the package for a hundred dollars, immediately yeah. you're going to get $50 and it will be deducted from here. Immediately. So it will end up in here. $50 that you can cash out right away. This is instant ready-made cash. And this is the really important thing to remember. This is exactly why these VIPs are so ruthless. And they don't care about you. They're, they're all just scamming you guys. They're in the community as two-faced. Mm, can't say. And this is the deal. They've got one person that invests, hoping to get a high return on, on their investment. The other person that sells is literally taking 50% of your money as soon as it hits the floor. And then somehow they get another, somebody else gets another 15% and it leaves 35% in the Ponzi scheme to run. And as Carl says, that's how it sustains itself. No, no. If I sit back out, I'm talking to you now. You've not nothing about this. Hyperverse or, or Apple Cosmos. And I said, basically, I'm just telling them how you're doing and blah, blah, blah. You, you're making money and I'm doing this and doing that. How do you make money? So if I said to them, you put $100 in, yeah, and they'll charge you by three, so you've got $300, yeah? Yep. Now they have to go out there. All they have to do is go out and sell 100 what a fantastic question. So basically, he's asking if you're selling this to somebody, what are they actually purchasing? Dollar packages and that will make them 300 bucks. Right, so right. They don't. The, right. That's basically it. because before we used to have the daily impost, etc. etc. Now, if you haven't picked up on that, if you put a hundred dollars USTD into a hyper cosmos, um, um, package, you they convert that straight away into 300. Um, is it hyper cosmos dollars? And then they're trying to make sure they keep that equivalent to USDT. But there's no, it's not on any exchange. It's got no value to it now. So it's just a hypothetical, it's the, it's worth the same as USDT. So they're just tripling your money as soon as you put it into this Ponzi scheme, which doesn't make sense in itself. But that's my point, 
is he's asking, well, what are they actually buying? He's going, well, they get 300 for their 100. It's like signing up for a game of Monopoly or going into the casino and they give you a 1,000 chips when you pay $100. It's just stupid. But then when you want to leave the casino, they go, no, 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 you can't take the money out that you come in with. You've enjoyed your stay? Have you enjoyed having a game? Did you enjoy the free drinks? Isn't it a lovely community? That's exactly what they're selling you. That's selling, we are selling 50% commission packages. That's all. That's Even though it pays that's, that's different on the levels, we are talking on an individual basis only. So is he saying that if you sell this to somebody else, they have the right to sell something and get 50% commission? Is that what we're, is that what we're hearing here? So let's say I've got a pack of cards, boom, and I go to my friend, I say, look, if you pay a $100 package, you'll be able to sell these cards as well. And when you sell them, mate, you'll be able to get 50% commission. But what are the cards? Well, I don't know. I never thought about that. Is that what they're saying? I think that's what they're saying. Let's carry on. For everybody to get their money out. So everybody's going to go out and refer people. Look, you can refer 100 people a day at $100 and make $500 a day. Well, you could do... um. 10,000 people a day, couldn't you? You could do 100,000 people a day. Let's just get the calculator out and keep going with that plus button, eh? Hey. Yeah, okay. Uh, so so that's, that's what I mean, right? So uh, you look at this is how you're going to get your money out, but this is the compromise, everybody. Well, you need to compromise. You know, I know people say, well, I was passive. And I will tell everybody in here, I've been a network marketer for 42 years. I have been in crypto for nine years, and I can tell you, no one gets rich passively. Oh, no. You mean all those Instagram accounts, all those people driving around those flash cars do have to work for a living? Or have they already worked for a living? Oh, I can't keep up with this. Keep going, Carl. You're digging yourself a beautiful hole. Danny's really happy about this. <sighs> I reckon I would like to do a challenge. I reckon I can get this guy in a newspaper in Canada within three weeks after this video goes out. Okay? Because I'm on a, I know how to market shit. That's what I do. I'm not a multi-level marketer, but I know how to get content out to no pickups. I know people that are passive and still have their jobs. Why do you still have a job? Oh, I make a passive income. You don't make a passive You're working. You're not rich. But see, when you go out and share an opportunity. We don't call it recruiting. I don't call it recruiting. I just share my journey. And I let people know how my journey is going. People ask me, how the hell am I doing that? Now, this is really interesting tactics he's sharing here. Nothing I haven't heard before, but you may have not. Very subtle sales technique. You know, you turn up in a new car, you have a lot of money on you, and then people go, what do you do? Oh, well, you know, a bit of this and a bit of that. And then eventually they claw it out of you. You don't sit there with a sign on your forehead going, I M L M. I do multi-level marketing. And you don't have a, another one going across your forehead as a, as a thing saying, I'm a scammer, do you? No, you let people wonder what you do. And then you say, would you like to become part of my journey? And that's how it starts. You start with $100, and you start making 50% commissions. Boom, 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 boom. And you know, honestly, if this guy came up to me and wanted me to get into his Ponzi scheme, I'll be honest, I'll probably punch him in the face. Just saying. Couldn't help myself. I'd be like, hey, poof. Once people start seeing how that works, they're buying more packages. And this guy's so greedy. There's a, there's a part that's in the very last of this video, which will be timestamped, that I watch, and you can just hear his greed and his love for money. Oh, they say in the Bible that I'm not into that the root of all evilness, e the root of all evil, is the love of money, not money, the love of money and greed. And this guy is right up there. And they're not at a hundred bucks. They'll be buying at two hundred, five hundred, thousand, two thousand, five thousand, knowing that they can make these kind of commissions. And, and this is, um, I did a video that was in the New York Times, and it was about Mike Lucas. Now, Mike Lucas, Lucas put $25,000 of his retirement money into a Ponzi scheme. And to this date, Keith Williams has not paid it back, even though he's got lots of money, right? Keith Williams is not a nice guy. Sorry, Keith, didn't mean to hurt your feelings again. 
However, he put $2,000 in originally, and then he could go log into the back end, managed to figure out how to get crypto into the Ponzi scheme, bought himself a membership, sat there, looked at the figures, watched the daily rewards, thought it was real, then listened to a a YouTube video um, that Pinnigin Ark put, um, put out there, and then it said that, he, uh, that pension funds were basically a Ponzi scheme that the government was running. So, you know, he took all his money out of his pension fund and put it all into hyperverse and unfortunately mike has lost the lot he watches my videos i'd love to do something to help mike if anyone's got lots of money left over from hyperverse and want to help mike he's out of pocket by twenty five thousand dollars. he'd just love to get his initial money back just saying we advert there for mike right so the little hundred dollar thing that you go out and sell is actually a fantastic idea who hasn't got a hundred bucks to blow on a little wee get rich quick opportunity and then you go and sell it to your mate and you get your 50 bucks back. Sell it to another mate, you break even and you're away laughing. Then greed, greed comes into it, doesn't it? Yes, you go, oh, if I put $100, imagine if I put $1,000 in it, I would have got blah. And that's exactly what he's saying there. So these are little warm-up $100 investments are there to entice people. They get used to the platform. They get used to how to put money in. Um, I, I went on a bit of a rampage um, buying marble comics and I owned about 25 of them. I think I still do. I think I, 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 I think I broke even on paper, <laughs> but I can't get my money out. It's crazy. Don't go into it. So the more that you show people what you do, the more that people are going to get attracted to you. Okay. So thanks, Peter. Um, Oral, let's go over to you. Like the package prices at the moment, it's like, uh, is it 500? There's no, there's no packages. So, so let me, um, let me share my screen again. What they've done is they've kind of made it easy for people. Right now, customizable, you can start with 100. That's the minimal. You can do 105, 110, 119, 220, whatever it is. Doesn't matter. Right? Okay. Okay, so if you're in a bit of a daydream, this is the guy that asks all the brilliant questions. This is the one that really outraged the community, and he's got some valid points. So listen up. This is the only part you really want to listen to if you want to figure out how Hypercosmo and Hypernation fell over. This is the one you want to listen to. Pretty sure it's him. That, but if they want to do a 500 package, 1,000 or 2,000, they have these three buttons, right? But this button here allows anybody to come in at 100. Okay. Okay. And that's it. And then immediately you get 50%. I, I can't tell you how big this is because people love 50% commissions. Okay. They, they like hundred percent commissions better, but unfortunately programs like that don't last because the company doesn't make any money on hundred percent commissions. So $2 on 50% at some point. company becomes sustainable. So okay. And so does the, the member. So the comp plan, how the comp plan works is on this, you make immediately 50%. So that's given to you. Then the other 50% goes into the pool. Okay. And then out of that 50%, 35% is paid out into the, the levels down to 10. So there's still, sorry, 65% is paid out out of that 50%. And 35% of that 50% remains in the pool. Okay. So the company is highly sustainable this way. <laughs> I've, I've, I've got a feeling that most people have sort of like summed it up with a 500 package, what I've done, and like, oh, nothing's happening. So well, because, because you have to refer somebody, you're not going to make anything off of your own money. All you're doing is getting a jump start of rewards in there ahead of time. So now... You go out and refer, and you start getting paid on this. So this literally is a rinse and repeat Ponzi scheme. Now, as I've done many times, it started off with Bitcoin Group, and then it went to Colin Star, and then it went to Hyper Capital, and then it went to Hyper uh, Fund, and then it went to Hyperverse, and then they launched it out as Hyper Nation, and now they've just released this new thing called Hyper Cosmos. A lot of hype going on. So if you keep up with all that, why do they keep renaming this company? You know, 
And there's enough technology around at the moment. Why don't they just keep Hyperverse going if it's so damn good? And then they go, well, we've ironed out all the bumps. And um, they're basically trying to come up with a perfect Ponzi scheme. So far, the only people that are winning are the people that are in the top, like Keith Williams, uh, this guy, Carl, $4,500 a day. He was making out a Hyperverse. And now he sits here and tells us that it's, it had so many flaws in it. I'm sure he wasn't complaining about the flaws in it when he was getting four and a half thousand dollars out a day. Okay, so if I was to put a hundred USDT in the blue money right now, you would get paid fifty dollars. Like if you went and bought a hundred dollar package right now with USDT, fifty dollars would show up in your balance to withdraw. My line. What was it? Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. No, no. Hang on a second. Uh, your upline would get the fifty dollars, not you. You're yeah. not going to get the $50, right? Go. That's called a cashback, uh, Carl. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you cleared that up. That's one thing you've got, right? 100% clarity, remember? You said that at the start. Keep going. Give yourself some more rope. <laughs> Lower him down over the edge of the building. Don't think the rope's going to be long enough to get to the bottom. We'll just might have to cut it off. So one of your downline, or you would have to, I don't know, maybe your wife or family member or whatever has a package, they buy it. $100 package, you would get the 50. Oh my God, you know, say, like I'm in a relationship, so I go go to my partner and I go, look honey, I need you to sign up for this deal because I'll get $50 off you. And then I'll go to my mum, who's an ex-Jehovah's Witness, doesn't talk to me, I don't care. And um, she's like, um, that might sound a bit harsh actually, I don't know if you guys know that I'm an ex-Jehovah's Witness and my family doesn't talk to me. Ha! Huh. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what happens when you used to be in a religious cult. And to, let's just say that's why I do these videos, you know, because the sales techniques that these guys use are actually very much like it was when I was a Jehovah's Witness. We used to listen to the elders, the ministerial servant and the circuit overseers and um, all the people from Bethel when they used to come and talk to us at the congregations. We used to sit there and, and listen to every word they were saying religiously. And they've got these same type of communities actually in, um, you know, all the hypers. And it's, it does my head in. And they're just preaching lies and being nice and fluffy. But as soon as you question anything, same with Carl, you'll hear that somebody goes in there and he tells me, you disrespect me, I'll boot you out and I'll never let you in again. They don't give a flying razoo about you or whatever. They only care about your money. And at the end of the day, they only care about themselves. Hmm, okay, I'll stop going on now. Back to the normal Danny. Depending on what yeah. level they're on, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. But yeah, we're just yeah. talking, I'm just talking direct, you know, referrals right now. Now, here's what I'm doing to really incentivize people. Next week, starting on the 12th to the 24th. Incentivize people so he can get a really good launch from his campaign that's what you're doing carl you don't care about incentivizing people you're just worrying about a strategy for you to get a ton of money real quick what are you going to do with the money i'm running a christmas promotion okay Ooh. and this christmas promotion is for anybody that attends and what they have to do is bring somebody that has never been in hyperverse so a brand new person that you want to introduce to Hypercosmos during my calls from the 12th to the 24th. I do them every day. Okay. Woo. Had to take that, take that record off. So you, you, did you get what he said? He said, new person with absolutely no connection to Hyperverse, Hyperfund, Hypercapital, nothing. Never been in a Ponzi scheme before. He's going to pay for their membership. That's because he'll have an answer for everything. But this is literally like a freight train and it's got carnage behind it that you wouldn't believe. But the people with their head out the window of the train are preaching a very nice message about, hey, this is a great opportunity over here and they're looking for new people that haven't heard of it. And that's why this will not last very long. Um, if you don't give them the energy to run the train. Now, the energy is by buying in you know, creating hype, talking about it, expose these bastards, you know, hit the like button on this video, get this video out to the masses, go to my uh, my, my website, to heck.com, go to the contact us page, any information about anyone, 
I've got a database, um, which I'll show you in a second where I press play and let this guy carry on. But I'm building a database of everybody that's involved in this. I've got 200 people in my database who have been actively promoting these Ponzi schemes and I'm out to name and shame them. I'm also out there to pass on the information to the authorities to bring these people down. I need your help. I'm a one-man band and I've got a good network of YouTubers around me. Let's stop this stupid Ponzi scheme crap and stop people losing their money. They're stealing money of your mum and dads. You know, you go to these Zoom meetings, you'd expect to see 20 to 30-year-olds, but no, you don't. You see 50 to 80-year-olds on these Zoom meetings being brainwashed by these idiots who are just out stealing from the poor and giving it to the rich. Monday to Friday at 1.30 p.m., Saturday, Sunday at 2 p.m. Every day I do these calls. And on those calls, I'm giving away five $100 packages. Now, they're not going to be USDT. They're going to be HB packages. So what I'm basically doing is I'm going to pre-fund your account with $300 in HB, which will be actually USDT. So when they turn around and get someone who signs up for 100 bucks, they're going to start getting all this free money I just gave them. Okay? Now, there are many different things you can do. Some people out there are getting away 50 USDT and someone else puts the other 50 USDT in, buys the package, you get, they get their $50 back. Right? So there's, there's many different ways that we can go about building this up as a community. But we have to bend a little bit and compromise. You can't let, oh, I have to recruit, stop you from getting your earnings. If you have $10,000 in HU sitting in hyperverse that you can convert to HBs, wouldn't you want to do that and take out that $10,000? And you're just going to just write it off and say, yeah, forget it. Yeah, do that, please. You've been burnt. You're looking at your reward money in a Monopoly game. And they're telling you to take out your Monopoly money, switch over to another game. And when you con three other people into it, then you can potentially, maybe, no one's proven it yet, get your money out of Hypercosmos back into USDT if you're a good salesperson. Because this is not, now, it is not a passive opportunity. Oh, no, 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 you have to work for it. This is a job. So do you want to tell your children what you did for work? In 2022, heading into 2023, hmm, I wouldn't want to be known as a Ponzi scheme promoter. And if you are a Ponzi scheme promoter and you're watching this, I'm coming for you. And it'd just be sour. I don't know anybody that would do that to you. And by the way, that was not the guy I was thinking of. He must be coming up. Honest with you. Right? And remember, we're burning off HBs. So HB is going to grow in value. Who knows? HB could grow to two dollars an hb at some point so when you're converting out of hyperverse right now and it gets to two dollars now you're getting half the amount only of what you would have got if you put it all in now you see what i'm saying and this is why i'm telling everybody convert over because once hbs start building in value that's it you're gonna you're, you're gonna lose because you're going to lose on the value. The more HB becomes valuable, the less you're going to be converting over out of hyperverse. Okay? Now is the time to get it all converted over so you get the full dollar to dollar value. Because at some point in time, when HBs are burning off like mad wildfire, all of a sudden HB could get to two or three dollars in HB, and now you're only getting a third out of hyperverse instead of the whole thing does that make sense to everybody don't miss anything i hope so yeah okay, Oral, i hope i answered your question no let's go over to dallas go ahead dallas hey carl hey question um so i have this money sitting in hyperverse it, some of it is in assets some of it is in pending rewards yes yeah, so the financial side of things um is actually on hold because we don't know what's happening with financial area right now so all we're focusing on is the rewards, not the pending rewards. You do not want to cash those out, okay? You don't want to cash those here? No, because so you want those trading HUs every day that you can convert to HBs and get them over. That part is still working. The moment you cash out your pending rewards, you've now eliminated Hyperverse from 
the picture, which... Has anyone ever made ginger beer before? You know here you got to get that little, not a worm, but you've got to get that um, fizzy stuff and you've got to let it grow, but you never take out the fizzy stuff. Same sort of thing, really, because you won't be able to make ginger beer, but you need to have the right thing fermenting, don't you? you but you don't take out the fermenting agent because then you'll have no ginger beer. I just thought I'd put a wee parallel in there for you. You will no longer create HBs anymore. You okay, so no cash up ending, but can I cash up? Can I transfer you, over? You can cash, cash out the rewards and the certified. Yeah, I did that. I did that yesterday to Hyper Cosmos. Yeah, and that's all you want to do. You have a choice. I'm not saying don't cash out. I recommend you don't cash out the penny. But if you want to cash it out, that's it. But that's the end of it for you. Now everything will be in Hyper Cosmos. Hyperverse will be literally useless for you unless you use the uh, the library. That's it. And at that's some it. point, will we be transferring over our pending? Uh, at some point, well, the, the, the pending is going to build UHUs forever. So I don't know why you'd want to do that. Well, because we can't Hyperverse is never closing. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, Hyperverse is never closing. Possibly the pending stuff might stop paying out and when it does that's the point you're going to convert everything over okay it's depending on whether people are doing rebuys in the pool and keeping the pool building but if everybody stops rebuys then the pool eventually will empty out and then everybody will be forced to move their pending over which isn't a, not bad anyways so why would hyperverse never shut and what authority does he have and why aren't the leaders of Hyperverse or Hyper Cosmo or Hyper Nation actually giving this talk for us? Why does it, the people who are promoting it have to scramble around trying to find out how it actually is? Is a good question, isn't it? Um, I think the point is that it will never shut because if it closes, then the outraged Hyper community, which has obviously taken this very video and put it onto their YouTube channel, would be outraged, and they would then f fess up and really realize that they have been scammed, even though this good company that's trying their best and they're blaming things like multiple accounts, and they're talking about um, the fall of crypto being the reason why this has all fallen over. Um, Ponzi schemes, pyramid schemes, Ponzi schemes, they don't sustain themselves. It's a mathematical equation. So to use uh, the fall of crypto or to use the um, multiple account thing is the reason why this fell over is actually breathtaking in itself. And then to introduce the people that have been burnt to get into another Ponzi scheme where 65% of the money that goes into it is given away and left 30% to make a sustainable Ponzi scheme is breathtaking. And as we found out, the only thing that you're really buying is actually um, the Academy, which when I looked at the Academy, it was a few videos given by amateurs. Last week, I did a video on Tracy, who was a truck driver for 32 years. And then we've got the blurry suckerfish lady who's a business coach who's trying to build her business. And these are the people that are giving leadership training in the Academy area uh, who aren't professionals and aren't like polished uh, educators. They're basically giving you, um, you know, videos trying to keep you positive because you've lost all your money. So anyway, the reason why they're keeping Hyperverse open is simply because they don't um, want you to be outraged. And I believe it's all part of the exit strategy so they can get away with the money. Who's got the money? Who's the people behind the company? And I don't know if you remember, but I did watch quite a few... Um, I watched the opening to uh, Hyperverse and Hypernation. They were talking about um, NFTs. Haven't heard much about that in this conversation. And they also talked about building um, a metaverse and an ecosystem. And then the, theoretically, once this metaverse is going, um, that's going to be worth some value. And they're using your money to build the metaverse. Now, it doesn't sound like they've got any money left in Hyperverse, Hypernation, so how's hibernation surviving? Well, they're doing it because they're selling NFTs and they've used that money to do all the billboard advertising and they're sustaining themselves by selling NFTs. Now, have you heard of a company called Facebook? 
Oh, you have? <laughs> really? Yep, I'm on them quite a bit every day. Check out my Facebook page, search for Danny De Heck. Follow me, it'd be great. Facebook laid off 11,000 people. 11,000 people. The reason why is they weren't getting enough interest for the metaverse they were building. So basically, I'm not saying they've pulled the plug on it, but they've laid off 11,000 people that were working on building their version of the metaverse. How much had they spent already? $15 billion. Are you telling me that these companies, or well, these Ponzi scheme guys that are claiming to build a metaverse have actually got the money to do so? By the sounds of it, they need you to buy $100 packages so their coin gets some worth so that they can get money and this can grow and go like wildfire. That means they're focusing on selling stuff. They don't have any money to build the metaverse. Okay. And there was another uh, piece of wisdom in there, which I've clean forgot. Um, so it's unlikely they, they don't have a product or service. There's no metaverse. It's just obviously a, a get-rich-quick opportunity, and I've totally lost my thought. But anyway, it might come back in a minute, and I'll stop it. But for me, I would rather create as many HUs a day as I can that I can convert to HB. I'm just yeah, going to let the money be built, right? I don't know if that's the point of leaving your money in hyperverse pending when you can't get it out anyways. Well, the hyperverse, no, you can. You can, you can go right now today and convert it all to HBs, but then... It will the hyperverse will no longer ever create UHUs again that you can convert to HBs. So you actually right. killed your feed. Right. Right? So anybody can do that. I'm just recommending that you don't. So that it keeps creating UHBs every or HUs every day that you can convert to HBs. So if you don't follow that, you initially put three hundred dollars into hyperverse and they promised you um well they had come out with membership two and you had to put four hundred dollars in. And they said if you let your money mature for 1,330 days, that you would get four times your rewards. So a lot of people are saying, look, I want my initial investment back. It's all fallen over. Hyperverse has said, hey, yeah, 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 we'll do it. We'll give you your money back when we find some money. <laughs> anyway, they haven't been able to find the money. So now what Carl's actually saying is you don't take out or don't convert your balance, your $400 into... Um, um, HB, Hyperbond, because you're still getting that daily rewards. So what he's talking about doing is you use your daily reward money that you're accumulating every day, and when you get enough of that, you move that over to Hypercosmo. Now, my disclaimer here is I've never, ever invested in a Ponzi scheme, and I've never um, will, and I don't take any money from anyone that claims that I, uh, what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is I'm not doing this uh, with a hidden agenda, trying to get a backhander when I'm helping people get their money back. That's not what this YouTube channel is all about. I, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to do this full time. And currently that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm living the dream, right? Um, but what I was, I was getting at is that um, I, I'm not a, a genius and understanding how all this works, which, and also dyslexic, left school at the age of 14, and have a reading and writing level of a nine-year-old, got tested, said that, but I use technology a lot. My point is that I'm not a crypto genius, I don't get everything I say correct, but if I can look at this and go, this is a Ponzi scheme, then you educated people should look at this and go, of course it's a Ponzi scheme, you know, but do your due diligence, but in my opinion, my opinion says that anything to do with crypto, Multi-level marketing is a scam. Anything that gives you, uh, you know, it sounds too good to be true. Um, you know, if it's more than, you know, 5%, 10% per year, I would be scrutinizer. You know, and before you give your money away, make sure you can eyeball the person that you're giving it to. Make sure you get their passport, their driver's license. If it's a bank, you know, you've got some security there. If it's non-regulated, you've got no security. You know, that's what I'm sort of getting at. You're constantly feeding hypercosmos balance. Because remember, this is how it doesn't cost you anything to go into hypercosmos and into hypernation as well. Because the HB is going to hypercosmos, you make the $100 sales or whatever it is in there, 
that pays out to UNH and USDT. You cash that out wherever you want. You can send some to hibernation if you want and build there, or just cash it all out and spend it. It's totally up to everybody what they want to do with it. But the way it's designed now, it's designed to build you an income, basically double dip on your money out of Hyperverse in Hypercosmos and then into Hypernation and have both Hypercosmos and Hypernation running simultaneously. I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to do that. Because uh, it's illegal and it's a Ponzi scheme and it's illegal means you could get arrested for promoting things, for giving financial advice to people. Do you know those disclaimers they often read out at the start of these things? That doesn't stand up in court because you can't tell somebody that um, I'm not going to stab you and then stab them and say that I warned them that I weren't going to stab them. I don't think that makes a good analogy, but you can't tell people that you're not a financial advisor and then continue to tell them that you're giving them financial advice and think that's a disclaimer. But that's an oxymoron. It's the most brilliant thing I've seen them, any company do in the crypto space. So I hope that answers your question, Dylan. Thanks. Cool. All right, this good guy must be coming up. We haven't had him yet. Um, uh, Leland, let's go over to you. Leland? No, it is Hello? 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 You have to put up your hand, please. Oh, he's got, got good manners on you there, Carl. I'm not going to ask again. Oh, please be professional here. And... Well, everyone's being a professional. As um, we read in the first part of this, if you have skipped here and you've come to the meeting, Carl was saying in the notes um of hyper community where they ripped off his video and played it on youtube that he has never scammed anyone in his life can you imagine that those words coming out of this guy's mouth now does it sound like he's scamming people by selling memberships or um, packages to people where he's getting paid 50 percent commission and then when somebody's come on here and said what are they actually buying he's going uh oh, just a package uh and access to uh, the academy what a zompy, gompy. Can't wait until this guy's in the paper. I'm going to laugh. Oh, and did I tell you, there's Amy. There's Amy. Um, a video about 10 back, you'll see one of there's Amy. The UK Mirror had done a featured article on there's Amy. And when they went to interview him about his crypto coin that fell over, he scarped off to the toilets and didn't want to talk to them. Anyway, uh, they said that his company, which was um, Amy... Financial Academy Limited has been um, flagged as a company, not a, a financial advisor and do not do business with them. So he's been brought down in the papers and they linked his article off to Kalpesh's Patel article when he was, because uh, if you don't know, Kalpesh Patel actually has been in prison before. And if you know Kalpesh Patel, people go, oh, but it wasn't for doing a Ponzi scheme, but they were trying to bring him down. And he actually got done for... Um, there was some Ponzi scheme he was being investigated for for $25 million. And there was 10 of them involved. He put his hand up and he said that he was involved. However, while he was being questioned, he broke his bail conditions and he got pay, um, a fine for 330, I think it was, thousand pound. And he got locked up for, I think it was 10 months or 12 months because he didn't, um, so they obviously couldn't quite nail him on what they wanted to, but they managed to find a loophole and nail him on something else. So a lot of these people, there's another guy I did another, released another video, his name's uh, Slay, and Slay has actually in his video that I've got on my YouTube channel been in prison two times uh, for two and a half year stints, and now he was on a um, leadership meeting giving leadership advice with Carl, so not with Carl, Oh, maybe it was Pinnakey. No, I think it was with Cal, uh, Keith Williams. And I'll tell you now, the funny thing about that is um, he was saying that he is doing a legitimate business. So these guys think they really are doing something that's not illegal. It's amazing me. Anyway, sorry, I'll carry on. There's timestamps. Do forward to the good parts. Hopefully this is the guy that's going to ask all those gnarly questions. In the order that uh, people can ask questions. Okay, Leland, go ahead. Hi, Carl. Um so I was wondering, I've been a bit out of the loop. Um, I put a, I'm just wondering about the principle. Is it, is it possible to get the principle out that I put in my capital or no? So that was just a the rumor. only way it can be done. So the only, the only, the only way, way I can get money out is by onboarding new people. You have to. Yeah. And I'll tell you so why. Where, where did my money go? Sorry? Where did my money go? Where did my investment go? My, my principle. It's still in Hyperverse. 
it will move over to hypercosmos. And then when you refer people, it will then deduct and pay out to you. At some point in time, the HBs will be activated for Hold it. It will convert and pay out to you. That's a lie. That doesn't work, Gal. That doesn't work. So you're saying that you're contradicting yourself here because you're actually saying that people, you need to recruit people to get any money out of Hypercosmo. Now you could go and buy a package with USDT for Hypercosmo, but no, you have the privilege of jumpstarting it by using your reward money to, to get the rights to sell a package to somebody. This guy is going to be good. Listen to the questions. What happened to his money? I think that's a pretty good question to ask. Let's take um, offense by that, though, eh? Which will accelerate things. It just can't be done now because the pool needs to be built in hypercosmos with new funds. Okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So I have to onboard people into uh, this this new thing, which I don't know. I don't don't feel comfortable doing that with people given my experience with Hyperverse. Okay, so you see what sits out in... Listen to how he shoots them down. All these guys do the same. Um, I got on a, uh, you'll see in one of my shorts, but I got on with Keith Williams and questioned him. And he just nailed me. We tried to nail me. Um, they just hammer you down. Listen to what Carl, how Carl treats people on his own community. And here's your choice, Leland. All the money that's in there, yeah. just walk away. Forget about it because you're never going to get it. It'll never be paid. So, just walk away. So I, I never get the money. You'll never it's get the gone. money. The so only way you can get it is gone. this way. And the reason I is... Think taking other people's money and, and putting them on the line to risk losing all okay, the money. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to get into an argument with... See what he just said? Taking other people's money, risking their money so I get my money back is the only way I'm going to get my money back. Now listen to what he says. In my room here, if you're not happy with it, please leave. And then get your information elsewhere. You are a plonker, Carl. You are just friggin' an animal. You're the bottom of the ocean feeder. You're in the sewers, mate. You're a disgusting individual. I want to name and shame you. I want to. I want anybody that's got any information about Carl, go to my website, give it to me. This guy's going down. The crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger strikes again. That's what I want to say. I'm not here to cause an argument with anybody. I'm here to rely on the information that I know of what's going on. If you're not happy about it, there's nothing I can do. I'm just the messenger. Boo hoo. So please respect my room. And we'll leave it at that. Thank you. I think you're misunderstanding the question. That I'm not misunderstanding anything. They want their money out previously. They can't get it, Dan. And that's how it is. And you spoke out of turn, too. So please put up your hand. Don't speak out of turn. I'm getting a little angry right now. I'm getting a little angry. Now, with the disrespect that people are having in this room. Please have respect in my room. If not, I'm going to boot you and you won't get back in again. Oh, no. When have I get in? Hey, can I come along? Don't you have these meetings every day? Can I come? Can I, can I, can I come? Go ahead, Mateo. Right. Well, the question is that you, you basically say that one day in the future when there's going to be more money in the pool, uh, I think with HB, I'm going to get... Uh, I think this guy's got his head down the toilet while he's talking, so sorry about the sound. Uh, remember, um, if you go to my blog, you can read the words. It's a commission. With HB, yes, but they have to with build HB. the value. So what has to have done is we need to build it with new money in the pool because the new money burns the HB. And when B- HB is being burned, there's less of it in circulation, which causes it to have value. That's how all currencies grow in, in strength. Currency. This is crypto. <laughs> in value is that they have to burn them. Okay. And when they burn them, then value starts to build on the currency so in order for hb to get back to its value we have to burn it that sounds about right so let's burn it oh how are you gonna burn it and who creates the value scarcity that's what he's basically saying so there's not many of it everyone's gonna go oh i need some of this virtual coin 
I need some virtual coin that I can hardly get. Uh, we should be just using proper crypto for this transaction, shouldn't we? Um, because that's the only crypto coin that's got any value in my eyes. The only stable coin. So once the the circulation becomes minimal, then the value of HB becomes more valuable. And then at that point, the company can then start doing it. It has to get to a one-to-one -one so that the company can do that. Right? Okay. Otherwise, okay. We're burning, we're, we're, otherwise, we're draining the pool resources too fast. That's yeah, what yeah, you're not doing. It will end up uh, full. Uh, it, you it, understand? It will, it will stop. Yeah. So by, okay. by seeing this, uh, is that maybe at one point, even the passive members, which I'm not, but I'm just asking. So even the passive members will be able to draw their 1x. At, at, one, at some point, yes. Well, they'll get not 1x, they'll get 3x or more. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> yeah, 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 but even okay. the passive ones, which, but, are, but they'll which be are able not. to do it, yes, with their own HB. But right now, because HB's value is so low, if they started that right now, the pool would empty, and then no one would be, ever be able to do it. There'd be no more conversion of HBs. There'd be no more nothing, right? So there has to be a compromise to do this. And the compromise is buy new, sell new contracts that start at 100 bucks. People out there will risk $100 every day of the week. They spend it on a Friday night, okay? They will spend $100 in a heartbeat. And when they realize they're going to make a 50% commission, they'll be doing that all day long. And then you'll be getting the commissions or stuff will be coming out. And every time, every 50 will burn 50 HBs. We could end up burning hundreds of thousands of HBs a day. And when that starts happening, then we start to see the value of HB start to climb because there's less and less and less of them in circulation. Because the HBs are created from the HUs. Right? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so if everybody stops buying HUs, like doing rebuys, then all of a sudden, no more HUs are created. Once HUs are converted... Sounds really good. I think I've got to sign up. What's 100 bucks, eh? <laughs> Let's do it now. See how I get on, eh? Woo! HBs, that's it. That's the end of HB. And if, you see what I mean? So we have to be burning them off. So this is why everything needs to, to run in sync with everything. And I don't think it'll take too long. I think by January, people will be buying packages or, or buying packages with HB and getting paid on them. That's what I think by the end of January. I think it could hit the dollar by then. And end of January, do you really think two months will bring so many millions to bonus? That's if people get this message in their head that they have to convert over to hypercosmos and start getting sales going i don't see to me i don't understand what the issue is here i know that most people in hyperverse when it stopped paying they immediately went to another company and put money in and started um paying they had no problem paying 500 or 1,000 or 100 or whatever on another, another company to start making money, no issue. But here, when you're given already your principal there to be cashed out, you have an issue with that? See, to me, that makes zero sense as an entrepreneur. Absolutely zero sense. Because it takes money to make money. What people are looking for is money to come out of thin air and pay them. Business doesn't work that way, folks. It never has, never will. But this is the most logical way. Hey, I'm just um, messaging Carl in real time while we're talking in this window here, and it pops up with a message, and this is what it says. Uh-oh, did that not work? All right, I'll try again. Thanks, Thanks for, for messaging, messaging me. me. I may be busy on a Zoom, or I'm just helping others create a better quality of life. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I thought I'd sign up because it just sounds so good. And um, I've asked him for an invitation code for Hypercosmos. So let's see if he gives me one in the next few minutes. I'm pretty sure we're at 1.30 a.m. here in New Zealand. So I'm guessing uh, he would be just still up, probably in a Zoom meeting, as he says. 
and best way for you to get paid all of your money out of Hyperverse. But there's got to be a compromise. Again, everybody thinks that Hyperverse owns them. They don't. Hyperverse could have shut down that whole thing, that whole project, went offline and never paid you a red cent. They could have done that. Because Hypernation is a completely different company. So is Hypercosmos. So they could have shut that down and said, you know what? Screw you guys. We're shutting it down. We're not paying anybody anything. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with this here. Because we know we got a good thing. It doesn't matter. They're allowing you to take your earnings over to here and get paid at all. I don't understand what the, the issue is. I really don't. All I understand is that you're just sour. You're mad because you have to do something now when you sat back and didn't have to do anything. Huh. First of all, no one should have ever told you that anything is passive. That's the worst word in anything. I hate that word. It's the worst thing that can be shared with anybody. Because that creates lazy people who expect everything for nothing. And if I offended you, well, that's it. You want transparency with me, that's what you get. But I will show you how to make more money than you've ever made in your life. I was a B5 in Hyperverse. I was making $4,500 a day. Do you think I was not mad when everything went down? This guy is just incredible, though. I'm just um, looking at his uh, Facebook page, which you can see. Um, and he is just into everything. Now, why hasn't anyone tried stopping this guy? I mean, maybe this is what the crypto Ponzi scheme Avenger is all about. Oh, I've got to do WhatsApp. That won't let me. Um, I'll go back to the um, Facebook page anyway, and we'll see. I might actually give him a ring. Oop, play. A day, not a month, a day. And that was strict, just like that. But I never left. I put it on pause until I could find out what the real issue was behind everything. I didn't listen to smear campaigns that were going on out there. I sat back and needed to find out the logic behind everything. See, most of you in here are just networkers. You come on here, you put money in and expect to get a payment back. It's like going to work and expecting a paycheck every Friday, whether you worked or not. Because believe me, I know people that go to work every day and don't do a damn thing and still get paid for it. This here requires you a commitment. It's like if you had your own store, would you not put advertising out to attract new clientele? Or would you just sit there inside your store and wait for somebody to walk in the door? That's the difference between a successful business and a non-successful business. I've had both. I've been an online marketer and I've had my own business. Sorry to interrupt you guys. I'm just um, doing some investigation in the background, which is going to make this video go on and on, but don't remember these timestamps. But I'm just looking at this uh, Facebook page of his. I don't actually think it's the real Carl's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out and log into um, a different Facebook account, which is my old dog that died. And I'm going to go see if um, I can get the right one. Uh, because that there, to me, just looks like he's um, the wrong guy. Um, which, I don't know if you noticed that, but let's have a look. Because I think he's blocked me already. Um, probably because I had the squat team outside. So um, I'm just going to go and do a little bit of a search. I can't put it on a big screen, so you'll need to full-size it. So what's his name? Carl... Um, so yeah, don't be fooled because that looked like another Ponzi scheme altogether. There he is there. So it's really weird. So that looks like, is that the same guy? Or is that somebody who's also created, and he's only got two friends. So somebody's got pissed off and created another profile. Uh, what am I trying to say? Another profile. Um, I'm guessing that is, yeah, this is, uh, so I've noticed I got, um, a different person. So I'll carry on. We'll listen to him again and you watch me as I, um, I might give him a, a phone call and uh, we'll have a listen to see if he picks up. So I know what it takes. Most people don't have the business sense. I'm trying to instill that into you. And for my team here, I'm going to do a lot for my team. Like they have no idea. They have no idea what I got planned for January going forward. I'm still giving away money. I'm going to give away 
in the next two weeks, which is going to triple to $18,000 for people at 300 apiece. This is me giving back. Oh, good this is the best that I can do at this point. You're such a hero. And believe me, when I start making $4,500 a day, which I will in there, because I will go out and refer people to, for 50% commissions in a heartbeat. Heartbeat. Oh, that's disgusting. In a heartbeat. In fact, I might even talk to some of your friends and sell them on this that you chose not to tell about. Oh, my God. This guy's rampant, isn't he? Because I know everybody on this planet loves to make money. And a 50% commission, that's a big selling feature. So again, next week, you know, get your account, transitioned over, get your stuff moved over, and so it's set. And then bring some new people in, and I will pre-fund your account with $100 if I pick the name out of the hat. I'm going to pick five names a day, but they have to be present in this room. Or you have to have a name of one person who doesn't. Okay? And if I find out that anybody gave me somebody an existing member in there, you will be banned. Listen to the way he says this. For life from anything I do. Okay? Because I have zero tolerance for people that fool me. Big man. Sorry if I sound a little bit aggravated, but you know what? It started that way. I'm trying to get back to my normal sense in here. But I'm trying to help you guys. I don't have to do these calls. I don't have to do anything. Well, stop it then. Okay, Dio Doni, your question. Okay, thank you. Um, so, my question is, uh, as it is possible when I bring maybe, you know, calling to for the give away, if I bring, for example, five people, if two people win, if you send them the, the gift, uh, I have their upline. It is a possible yes. for me to benefit the 50%. Not on these. Not, not on these notes. Because these ones are going to be paid in HB. I'm giving them a jump start. So uh, okay. this is their incentive. If they want the $300 that's sitting in there, their incentive is to go out and refer people so they can get paid. They're going to get paid for free. They're, they're going to make $300 for free on me. If they go out and do what they're supposed to do. If not, that'll just sit there. It doesn't matter. I can't do anything with my HVs right now anyways. Okay. Right? I understand. Okay. Yeah, you understand? So that's what these are for. Now, if, if that doesn't excite you, then I don't know what the hell's going to excite you. But, <laughs> okay. uh, you know, I again, I'm only doing what I can do without, okay. without having to, you know, I do everything. Okay. Thanks. So Chad, I'll go ahead. Yes, Carl. Um, let me uh, go from a different, different point of view here. Sure. Uh, in order for me to get any money out from my first is I have to do a referral to go ahead and get For now. For okay. now. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me continue, okay? okay. And uh, the instant, the, the position which I have with you. Well, I lost you for a lost him. Hey, I'm going to um, pause this in a second right. and we're going to ring up Carl. Yeah, Sorry, Chuck, Chuck, can you repeat that? Because you, you went, you went away from it. I didn't hear everything you said. Just repeat that, please. So uh, the, the only starting point I have for that person who, who has not joined Hyperverse or Hypercosmos is to communicate to them, look, in order to become a member or a, a Hypercosmos as a recipient, you have to put in hundred dollars in order to get enrolled. That's the key. You that's know? the main. That's the, yeah. The minimum is a hundred USDT. You don't get any money on your hundred dollars. No, no. I, I, but no. That, that opens it up for you to get fifty dollar commit or fifty percent commission for anybody. Let me, let, me, let me continue, Peter. Call please. So once that person is in, then. When he or she goes ahead and, and and goes ahead and sponsors another person, then now she gets benefit of the three x or whatever uh, the, the the amount is. Is that correct? They, they will get the three x in their account, and they will get a fifty dollar commission. 
with the second tier of involvement, not the first, not their initial involvement. Yeah, what, no, because they're only putting in, they're only, they're only starting with their own money. So when they start to refer people, those people get a three X, but they start to receive. So, so I sponsor you, Chet, right, and, right. and you come in with a hundred dollars. I immediately make fifty dollars, but you, your account starts at three X. Okay. So That's then you go and sponsor Maggie. Maggie pays a hundred dollars. You make fifty dollars. That gets deducted from your three hundred. And that's fifty dollars spendable immediately, and Maggie gets a three hundred x start. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's 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 one part of the process that I'm trying to handle. Yeah. The the, the HB side, we won't see that for a while. Right. So the HB is literally going to be your jump start to your account, so that you can start getting paid right away. So it's no out of pocket. Everybody else that's brand new is out of pocket in USDT. But we, as current members of Hyperverse, are not out of pocket. Okay, so my next part of my question is, that the key thing here is, is communicate to people and the things that you're doing on Facebook, using your Facebook uh, postings. Could you put that on, your, on the chat box? What, what uh, is the, uh, the address there or your real on the Facebook so we can see how you're doing. Oh, yeah. my, my actual uh, timeline? Yeah, sure, I can do that. Yeah. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to ring up Carl. Got to do this. And we'll do it live and see whether he answers the phone. I'm going to tell him who I am and what I'm doing. Let's have a listen. Hopefully. Ringing? This number has call control. To get through, please press eight. Eight. How do we press eight on this? Eight. Hold up. Coming through. Let's have a listen. Welcome to the voice messaging system. Bienvenue au système de messagerie vocale. For English, press 1. Pour le français, appuyez sur le 2. To access your messages, enter your mailbox number and press star during your greeting. Or to leave a message, enter the number of the person you are calling. What? All right, we'll go back to him and we'll... Um... Well, that was the phone number I had. I used it the other day. I'm going to call his home number next, but we'll carry on for a bit. Thank you. That okay, so here, here is my timeline on Facebook. I do all of my marketing on Facebook, everybody. Everything. So you will see everything that I post on there. Now, I don't just do that. There's other stuff I have on there, too. Okay? Like, I may say, you know, share sports stuff or whatever. It's a timeline. But... Everything on there that I do as far as business goes, it's all storytelling. Okay? So you're going to learn storytelling and curiosity posting of what I do. Okay. Thanks, Chad. Maggie, go ahead. Doesn't that sound disgusting? That everything he does in his post is just there to fish and catch fish that are floating by who are curious? I mean, this is... Not someone who's got a proper business opportunity, is it? No. This is somebody who's just out to scam people. This is blatantly him promoting a Ponzi scheme. There's no product or service. And the only way this is surviving is by recruiting new people. And now he's getting 50% of it. It's just ridiculous. All right, I'm going to ring him. Um, I'll ring the second number that we rung and see if we get a similar sort of... Um, problem here. Hello? Yeah, g'day. Is that Carl? Yeah, it is. Yeah, is g'day, it? mate. Hey, we're just, um, I've just been watching your video on YouTube um, explaining how Hypercosmos works. Yeah. 
And I was just curious, um, we're actually streaming live on the internet at the moment. I'm wondering, do you realise it's a Ponzi scheme? <sighs> Again? <laughs> I'll have to do one more. I'll say we got disconnected. Call failed. No. I'm not going to go. I think he's going to block my number. Well, just one more time. Come on, Carl. You know you want to answer it. You can't live. No. I only have a comment as I'm thinking that USDT will increase the value of our HB. What if every member bought $100? If they bought a $100 package, you're going to burn off HB. But we're not asking every member to do it. That's the no, that, I, that's the proposal. proposal but yeah, I mean, so it will accelerate everything faster if they yeah. got it. But yeah. again, you know, look, uh, Leland had a point in here. Okay, he had a point. Why should we have to spend our own money to do it? Nobody has to, right? right? And the the only way to move forward. All right, we're just. <laughs> Got to ring him, don't you? Can't let this opportunity go by. Welcome to the voice message. One as before, and just for the hell of it, let's try that one more time. The world's so small now. At least we know his phone numbers work. Come on, Carl. You don't want to talk to Danny? Talk to Danny. Come on, mate. Call failed. Oh, well, that was my big moment to talk to Carl directly. But no doubt he's going to watch this video. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The whole thing is because their intention was never to shut down Hyperverse. It it got shut down as far as payouts because of member manipulation. Okay? Hypernation, we were supposed to all transition to hypernation. Everything was supposed to be done that way. But that got that got shut down because of what happened. So the 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 momentum for hypernation slowed to a snail's pace as what it is now they need the membership to carry on with everything that they're doing so they created hypercosmos so they said you know what rather than paying everybody their 1x because they couldn't do 3x because there wasn't enough money and value in the hv pool to do that so they were going to do the 1x, but they really wanted everybody to come over to hypernation. So they figured if they did that, there was still so much discontent when they even offered the 1x. People were still pissed off saying, well, what about the rest of my money? So they went out and they created Hypercosmos and said, you know what? We're going to give you all your money. But here's the compromise. Because... What intentionally and initially was supposed to happen, where everybody going from hyperburst to hypernation, that got kiboshed because of what happened. We still need the membership to grow. So what we're going to do is give you all your money from hyperburst, 
All we're asking is that you just help build the database for hypernation by just referring people to hypercosmos and then directing them to hypernation once they have enough funds. Do you guys actually feel sorry for people like this? I mean, do you think I'm being a bully? Because the blurry suckerfish lady said that I was a bully because every time she gets on here and preaches to everyone about how to build her wealth and promotes a Ponzi scheme, I get a video and do a talk over on it, um, you know? So, you know, am I being mean? Should I just let these guys, you know, should I not show you photos of their, um, of where they live? I mean, this is Carl. This is his house. This is where he lives. I've just uh, shown you his phone number, and I've rung him, you know. I mean, do you think he's a bit upset now? Is that mean? Should I be polite? Or should I think of all the thousands, well, millions of dollars he's scammed people out of over the last 42 years? Nine years in crypto, and he's telling us that Hyperverse was the best opportunity he ever saw, and now this Hyper Cosmo thing is just amazing. He's willing to sell things to his friends, if he's got any, and get 50% commission and sleep at night. I mean, imagine that. I'm going to introduce you to a new house. This beautiful house is everything you ever wanted. And then when you buy it, you realize that Danny got 50% of what you paid for your house in commission. I mean, that's ridiculous. And he's happy to do that. Anyway, that's where he lives. It's his house. I wonder where he is right now, because it sounded like it was nighttime. Is he that side? Is he that side? I'm not sure which one he is. Pretty flash house for someone that's doing, a, got a passive income, isn't it? No, there's no such thing. Maybe we need to turn around, have a look around the street. Pretty cool. Maybe it is this house over here. I'm pretty sure it's the one I, I was, um, oh my goodness, that flashback then. I thought that was the Jehovah's Witness Kingdom Hall. But no, that's the one I've looked at before. And theoretically, that room right there in the front is where he hangs. That must be the kitchen. But theoretically, um, this one at the top is probably the bedroom. So I'm guessing that he works out of that room there. It's pretty shocking, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's carry on. Listen to Carl. Hey, Carl. Now, that's a pretty good compromise, if you ask me. Because people can then start cashing up their money they could take out whatever they want for their own personal use and have the option of transitioning into hypernation with no out of pocket and start making up to 0.7% a day in there plus other things. Now, to me, that was a pretty damn good compromise. I don't think any other company out there would have done it. In fact, most companies would have said, screw you, we're not paying you anything, shut it down, and never figured any kind of other process to help get you your money. This is them trying to do their best to get you paid. Okay? And that's all that that is. And I think it's a pretty damn good compromise. Okay, thanks, Maggie. Marianne, go ahead. Can you hear me, Carl? Yeah, I sure can. Oh, we all can. Right. Um, sorry, I've jotted, jotted some notes down. Um, so I think this is kind of what I thought it was going to be anyway, like the HB is a liquidity, a liquidity pool. I kind of really understand that it has to be. Yes. Um, obviously, I came in as a completely passive member. I'm not a multi-level marketer. Yep. Um, obviously, at the time, to Hyperfund and Hyperverse, the presentation said you could be passive. I did have an inkling the company never wanted that because they had to build members. But they, they never, their biggest mistake was saying that. That was their biggest mistake. Yeah, and I think that, I think the uplines that said that did it so they could earn higher rewards. Yep, absolutely. And, absolutely. and I kind of get that. But obviously you've got people like me who now feel stuck. You're not um, stuck, Marianne, because, you know, you are a recruiter and you don't even know it. Okay? Because well, every single day, day that's every what single I'm day in your life, Every single day in your life, Marianne, you are selling yourself. He would have rehearsed that over and over again. Now, I know you don't want to hear about my life as an ex-Jehovah's Witness, but when I used to knock on someone's door and they said they weren't interested, my reply wasn't like, okay, I'll leave. It was like, oh, are you not interested in religion? 
or is it Jehovah's Witnesses that you're not interested in? Most people, out of politeness, would say religion. And then we would say, oh, I can understand that because religion is responsible for a lot of the wars and suffering that's going on in the world at the moment. Wouldn't you agree? And the person would go, yeah. And then before you know it, we'd pull out the Bible. Yeah, the Bible. And we would say, can I share a scripture to you that explains what's happening in the last days? Blah, 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 blah. And then by the end of it, the person's sitting there thinking, oh my God, I can't get rid of these bloody Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, Carl, Carl, my mate Carl, will be using the same strategies. When somebody says to him, I'm no good at selling, he would just go into game mode and he would be saying, wow, you are a salesman. You know, when you go to the supermarket, you're on display, you're selling. And by the way you live your life, you're selling, you know, and it's all this crap that all these obstacles that are thrown in front of Carl, he's overcome over the years, and now he's about to teach people how to do the same. They don't, they, they're they just scammers, bottom feeders. They're disgusting people. Ugh. Carry on. Carry on. Let's do it again. To people, your friends, your family, people you meet at the grocery store, at the gas station, whatever See? it is. Anybody you talk to, you are selling yourself. How you become successful in a network marketing business is all about how you relay the information. I don't go out there and forcibly go after as a recruiter. I'm not a snake oil salesman. Oh, you okay? are? That's what people yeah. think referrers are or recruiters are. They're not. I need a snake sound. All I do is I post my journey of success. Watch out for the snake in the grass sneaking up to you. On a daily basis as I'm creating my success. It's my journey. And at the end of every one, I just make a statement. This one's more funny. Oh. Ooh, sorry, broke glass. Would you want this kind of journey too? Right? I can show you how to do it. As simple as what you're reading right now. I think I think what I need to know though, Carl, is because I mean I've never even had a withdrawal or none of my downloads have. Um, what product am I selling? Hyper Cosmos, Hyper Lab. Boom! I love it. What product am I selling? Doesn't matter. Just sell them something. Get their money. Go on, tell them what you're selling. The, it's the academy, the stupid academy that was geared up to teach you how to sell Hyperverse. Oh my God, this is going to make me vomit in a bucket. Hyper, hyper Cosmos. Hypercosmos is interconnected to Hyperverse. So the product that comes with Hypercosmos is actually the academy from Hyperverse because oh. every new member has access to Hyperverse from Hypercosmos to go to the academy. So the academy is the product. Basically, Hypercosmos is just an extension of Hyperverse. It's a gateway into Rinse and Hyper repeat, they call it, mate. That's all that it is. They just okay. have to do it a different way. That's all. Yeah. Um, I mean, and just to clear up as well, which obviously the HBB li liquidity. So you think eventually, say if I, I've already transferred some HB over to oh, Hypercosmos. Idiot. I've got three lap downlines who've done the same, but with HB. Oh. Do you think eventually HB will be, yes. will be able to withdraw from HB? Yes. This is what he said. The people that is in his community, his team have never withdrawn yet. And they're looking to go transfer it. It's disgusting, man. But it, it, it won't be till I think the end of January, February sometime. That's what I think. Yeah. I'm not it's, it's all dependent. It's a long term plan. Yeah. But it's all dependent on whether we just say, okay, let's get everybody over. Because that needs to be done first. Everybody needs to get over to Hypernation or to uh, Hypercosmos. Okay. They need a high percentage of volume in there, and then they need the sales coming in in order to start to release and get the burn off of the HBs. Once the HBs yeah. start to get burned off from new H USDT coming in, then everything starts coming together and it becomes a monster. But they have to start it someplace, okay? Because HB doesn't have a high value right now. It doesn't have a one-to-one. It's like a 10 to 12 to 1 right now. That's why USDT is required from new product sales. And listen, anybody can sell a $100 package. 
with a 50% return. Anybody can do it. I don't care whether you've been passive or whatever. Anybody can do it. Because everybody you talk to doesn't have the same thought pattern as you do. I could talk to someone today that could turn around and be one of my biggest marketers who was never even thought about ever selling a thing in their life. You just don't know. You don't know what people have inside them. You don't know what ha- what people have to motivate them. There could be people right now that have just a few hundred bucks to their name. They don't know if tomorrow is going to ever come, that kind of thing. Their back's against the wall. They will take that risk, and they will do the $100. Does, does that sound like an organization that you want to be part of? that you've got people sleeping on the streets that only have $100 to the name, and then all of a sudden they found a way to get $50 every time they fool somebody else into it. Do you want to be part of an organization like that? And then they will go and they find out that I can make 50%. I can make $50 in everything I sell at 100 They will go absolutely bonkers out there talking to people to make that money because if they had $200 to their name yesterday and they go out and they go on a binge, they could have five hundred dollars to the name by tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yes. So it it all depends on what each individual's motivation is. And, and so look, is every single member required to recruit to recruit? Or is this a whole team that effort? No, just think in hypercosmos, everybody has to do it. That is how it's being done now because everybody chose to shut down and do nothing. After Hyperverse, they chose not to go ahead into Hypernation, which was where everybody was supposed to go eventually anyways. And Hyperverse was going to be used as basically the Hypercosmos, what Hypercosmos is now, right? But because of that manipulation in there, they have to create a new process to do it. They need the database. They need the numbers. So this is how they're doing it. They're going to pay you all your money. They're just asking. Just tell a few people. Tell a few people. That's it. If 10,000 people went out there and sold one $100 package, that would be enough to start really generating things. Imagine. There are 1. I think 2 million people, members, in Hyperverse. If all those members transitioned over and each one of them went out and just had one person buy a $100 package, everything is golden and glory again. But yeah. it, it, it's the resistance, Marianne, is what the issue is. It's difficult. It's difficult when you've already built a team and none of them have withdrew. So uh, it, it has to nothing be difficult. Difficult. There's nothing difficult about it because I'm telling you, those people in your team, they probably went out someplace else to try and find out how they made money. They put money in there. And they're going to try and make it someplace else. They could have just done the damn thing here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's. A psychological decision everybody made. Everybody in hyperverse feels like they've been betrayed. I get it. I felt the same way. But now these guys are making the best effort they possibly can to pay you your money. But the resource pool, there isn't enough money to do it. So all they're asking is, let's kickstart this thing with one $100 sale each. Everybody just did that. Everything would be on its way. HBs would go up well, in value. What's the chance of that happening, mate? It sounds like you're going to collapse. HBs over and getting paid 50% on those. Don't die on. It has to start someplace, folks. That's it. We just have to get it started. we got to stop sitting back saying, oh, I'm going to wait. With that, nothing will ever happen. You will never make your money. You will never get paid. And that's the reality of it. Compromise. That's all we have to think about is compromise. And I'm telling you, you will make more money in hypercosmos and hypernation than you ever, ever made in hyperverse. Ever. I made them. I just signed up. My people in my team. Listen, some of you are not my team. Okay. Uh, But for the people in my team, I already have 127 personal referrals in hyperverse, and I believe they're all going to come over. So I'm never going to have any worry. So me, I do not ever have to recruit personally again. Okay? 
So going forward in the new year, I'm literally going to be giving away packages to my team. Anybody who is uh, who's not a recruiter in the team, I can literally, when I have people come to me and they want to join, I can put them anywhere I want, anywhere. So I can go to people in my team that aren't recruiters, and I can say, you know what, sign up here. I'm going to make money anyways because I paid the 10 levels. So it doesn't matter where people go. What matters is, is getting everybody paid. Oh, I'm not that wow. greedy guy out there that you have to register with me so I make all the money. There's too many of those snakes out there. Oh, you're not one of them, mate. Surely not. But I am not that way. I'm all about getting everybody paid. And I'm going to do whatever I can to help in that manner. Okay? Now, no, I want to say something it. in here, but I need everybody to take this. I don't want this to come out the wrong way. This will okay. be good. Listen to those kids as I sign up for Hyper Nation, Hyper Cosmo, whatever it's called. What Hyper I Cosmo? have come to know, because Hyper Cosmos is literally a completely different company. Okay? Boom. Listen to that. You can literally get a new position under anybody you want out there in Hypercosmos. No and loyalty is what he's saying. You USDT or maybe communicate with somebody who has HB and they can give it to you as a start um, or whatever compromise you want to want to do. Anybody can do that. Anybody can go wherever they want. Just like I went to a different team in hibernation. I did not follow my team from Hyperverse. I chose to go with a different team. So I left behind everybody in my Hyperverse team. <laughs> um, they are going to come through here. So there's still that benefit that they're going to come through Hypercosmos. But when I talk to my team about coming into hibernation, I'm going to tell them that this is where I am and they have a choice. They can stay with the existing team and grow hibernation there, or they can buy a new green box and come over and join me in hibernation. See, everybody has choices. And you are your own business person. This is not a cross recruiting thing because I don't care what anybody does. Um, I'm just saying that what I'm doing for my team is what I just explained to you. Maybe you take that same concept and do it with your team. I don't know if you have resources or knowledge or any of that stuff to do it. That's a choice that you have to make. Okay? Everybody has choices. So, to me, it doesn't matter what anybody does. It doesn't matter if my whole team wants to stay in conjunction with that upline there and go forward into hibernation. I don't care. I wish everybody the best. I, you know, I hope they go forward and blossom. I hope they get the same support. I chose to go with a different team that literally gives me daily support. And I have daily connection directly to the company. And the information... Do you guys watch me on this other screen I'm playing around with while I'm listening to this dribble? Um, I clicked on refer and it took me off to the Hyperverse. Isn't that crazy? So that must... Um, obviously, this platform is still connected to Hyperverse... But he said earlier on that this was um, a completely different entity to hibernation. So obviously not um, electronically, but maybe physically. Anyway, I'll just let him carry on dribbling away. He's just about done, and there is only a bit at the end I'm going to scoot forward to. And if you want to watch the whole video, because he's just so uh, ecstatically excited, um, we will. Um, you can go to the other video, which plays alongside this one which I just premiered. Uh, anyway, back to Carl. Maybe we should ring him again. I might ring him again. I think we're going to ring him again. Ring him again. Well, we've got your... ...reached has call control and is not accepting calls at this time. Mm -hmm. The number you have reached has call control and is not... All right, so that's not the right one. So let's just go off to the other number that he had. If I can find it, must be that one there, is it? 
Let's yeah, that one there. Yeah, that'll be the one. Try that one there. Debbie picks up. Maybe we just play continue letting him listen to himself. I received today was direct from the company through my. Oh, you can't hear it while it's ringing. Is that inconvenient? Are you not answering? Might be on the loo. You know you want to. Answer your phone, Carl. For a long time. Failed. Oh, well, never mind. With the crack. We did get him to answer earlier on, but not now. Sponsor. So I have that connection. And to me, that's worth gold. Because in Hyperverse, I literally had nothing. I got ghosted from my upline. So... I had to go out and search for four months to find out the real truth about hypernation and how everything went down. And how did that go? And that's what I did, and that's why I am where I am now. Right. No, we wise, none the wiser. So, for me, it's it's starting over again. Okay. The difference is, is I now I have access to all of the income that I had created in Hyperverse. They're going to give it to me here in Hypercosmos at a one-to-one. -one. Because remember, they can't pay me in HBs because HBs physically isn't worth a dollar. It's worth like, I don't know, eight or ten cents on the dollar. But they're giving me full dollar value exchange out of here based on the new USDT coming in. All right, so this is the real dumb thing about what he just said, is there's no value for a coin that hasn't got any connection to any monetary source so how does he say it's got value what has it got behind it that gives it value and as the hbs get burned the value of hb is going to go up and then everybody's going to start being paid in both usdt from new people joining and from packages i hope that makes sense with everybody not me but just you just have to sit back take a breath <sighs> I just I'm hyperventilating. I've now got myself a hypercosmo account though, and that's quite exciting. Absorb what I said here today. Okay? Now, some people have been texting me privately saying, look, um, you know, one is obviously um from Italy in here and is having a hard time understanding what's going on. So they want to know, are we getting like how are we getting paid our money? So what I want to cover right now is how that's done. Okay, so let me just get to the proper screen in here so I can walk everybody. All right, so just while he's waffling, um, the, he goes into a screen mode here, and this ain't going to be any good for anyone who's decided to put, listen to this on the podcast. But what I'm going to do is I am literally going to uh, fast forward to the end of that. Um, but first of all, I'm going to let him play while I find the exact part I want to fast forward you to. It won't be a second. True, exactly how everything is done. I'm almost finished doing the step-by-step. Uh, -step. I have videos that explain it, but I'm doing a um, visual step-by-step -step with pictures and explanation, okay? So um, let me just share my screen. And let's go through that, okay? So the transition period for anybody who hasn't done that yet, when you can... All right, so we're going to fast forward to the last part where he really tells you we're at um, 1 hour 21 on the real video, but when you listen to this, it will be 2 hours, 2 hours something. But anyway, this is really, this one, when I listened to this, I thought, oh my goodness, I could hear the the love of money coming through, and it just blew me away. So let's have a listen to this. And that personal referral is what's going to accelerate everything. 
imagine you just going out there and doing personal referrals and getting 50%, and you're getting all excited about the 50%, and then all of a sudden, because of all these referrals, now you're getting paid on level two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That just happens. Mm -hmm. You know, in Hyperverse, we just made the sales and people, we were making 0.5% a day at one point, then it went to 0.3%. And everybody was ecstatic. Oh, this is the greatest thing, right? And then when some of you had B1, then all of a sudden extra income kicked in. Then B2, more income. B3, more income. B4, more income. B5, more income. I was making an insane income at B5. I never made that kind of money before. And it came to me in 18 months. You know how fast that same money is going to come to me here in Cosmos? Oh, probably at half that time. Because we're not waiting for a trickle feed to come out anymore. No, they're getting paid commissions as soon as they sell these packages. But the big question there, kids, what are you actually buying when you buy these packages? It's all right for these guys at the top of the chain taking your money and handling the money and controlling the money, but you're at the bottom of the chain. So what are you actually purchasing? Who are you purchasing it from? How is the transaction going down? And if you stood in front of a judge, would they be able to collect your money back from this company? Oh, what company is is it that you're dealing with? So all this is all bogus, bogus show, googie, googie. So don't get involved with the okay? We're waiting to get money thrown in our face in big, giant lumps. That's what's going to happen that people are not used to. There are people here that are going to make $100 sales and get paid $50 and never made $50 in a single day in their life. Boom. And that's going to happen on a regular basis. Then $100, then $500, then $1,000 a day. This is going to happen so fast, people aren't even going to realize it. All selling $100 packages because they will just sell massive amounts of them. And then those people are going to see how that well that works. And they're going to go, holy crap, I'm buying $500. I'm buying a thousand dollars because they're taking what they're making out of there and they're bundling it back. That's what's going to happen. That's what everybody did in Hyperverse. Am I not wrong? That's what everybody did. Mm -hmm. So for everybody to allow themselves to let the past haunt their present, I'm telling you, just don't let it haunt you. Don't let Hyperverse haunt the success what hypercosmos is going to give you okay just don't let what happened there haunt this because you're going to lose so much you really will you're going to lose out so much and scare tactics must get in quick don't muck around all those are telltale signs for something that you shouldn't rush into what is this company who are these people and who the hell is this carl guy who thinks he has a right to tell you how to spend your money so that you get rich quick. Sound good? It doesn't even sound too good to be true, this. I, I, I'm going to hate to see that happen to people, but it's going to happen. But if you have money in Hyperverse and you haven't transitioned over and neither has your downline, you may as well put it there. You're still not going to get paid anything, but you may as well put it there in case you change your mind. Because at some point in time, it may become too late and you may lose it. So shift it now so it's there and secured in hyper cosmos. It makes zero sense to leave it over in Hyperverse. Zero cents, quite a lot of different platforms he's talking about to do anything with, in my opinion. Zero cents. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. I just, you know, I appreciate all of you guys, and I appreciate you all still staying here after my little rant at the very beginning. So I really appreciate that. As you can see, I kind of calmed down. So um, I'm just, I just, uh, you know, me as the type of marketer that I am, I care deeply for my team and other teams. I wouldn't be doing calls seven days a week if I didn't care. In fact, there are lots of them that are over here and not even doing one call a week. They're just not doing anything. Most of them are telling their team, don't convert over. Why would you even do that? I'm hearing that all over the place. Why would a leader tell people not to convert to hypercosmos? That's insane for them to say that. But what the hell do I know?
who's the leader? You? Or are you talking about the leaders like Keith Williams and Pinnicky Nark who just gave you 100% clarity and you've obviously watched this video off the internet now. But if it's you, then why are you delivering this this um, information? Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. Everyone, I really appreciate you. This will be uploaded as soon as it's rendered. It'll be put up there. You'll all be able to access this at my um, site. Oh, I haven't got loaded here. Let me just put it up here. Not anymore because he's taken the video off and he claims that leadership are very angry with him as per our uh, earlier experience here. Thank you, Kelly. I think I'll always respect and stop the girl. What, sorry, what's that? Thank you, Cal. Always. Tell oh, you're very welcome. So BitcoinStars.info, just so everybody knows, I mean, just gonna, this is what I've done. This has Pinnicky's video where he starts explaining that this one will probably be replaced with a more up-to-date one. This is my five-and-a-half-minute video that walks you through the conversion of HUs to HPs and then over to HyperCosmos to buy a package. Right below this, sometime today, I'm hoping to have the actual written step-by-step. -step. I'll show you what it looks like right now. I'm just in the middle of doing it. I'm explaining each step all the way through here. That will be uploaded and it'll be put right below this video. So if videos are hard for you to follow, at least you'll have a visual step-by-step. And that will be uploaded hopefully sometime today. I'm going to try and get it finished. Okay. All right. We'll leave that there for now. Okay. So let me give you a brief rundown. I'm going to make this a podcast. And that the reason I'm doing that is I want to kill my podcast and put this shit on there. No, I wanted to make it a podcast because my podcast is shared to at least, I think, 15 to 20 different platforms. iTunes, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts and the like. And then that means, and also Spotify, that means that when Carl searches for his name, I can't really pronounce his last name, I'll have a go, Carl uh, Hutch Van Sien, <laughs> whatever it is, um, literally means that um, his name will be mud everywhere. That will give me a big footprint. I've also already made it a blog. So if you want to go for the whole video, um, and read all the script. I use a program called Descript that listens to the voice and turns it into text. And that's a blog on my website. Now, my blog, my website's got a big presence. When Hyperverse was going off, I was getting 52,000 visitors to my website a month. And the other thing is um, I also are currently looking for any Canadian newspapers because I want to report this guy I want to use this video as part of history uh, we have made some amazing um, things are going really well I'm well connected with who I'm talking to and we do make a difference now I've got a whole page in the New York Times which I was really grateful for even had Coffeezilla um, tweet that it was strange that I made it into the New York Times which is quite funny I think he was a wee bit jealous, just saying. But my point is that I can contact these newspapers. Give me leads to newspapers. Give me any leads to Carl. I really want to bring this guy down, and I need your help. Now, some of the real simple things you do, I know YouTubers are always asking you to thumbs up their videos. As soon as you do that, YouTube actually go, people like it. If you engage and put comments, it doesn't have to be a big comment, just a comment. It really makes a huge difference. Um, and the other one is obviously subscribing, hitting the bell and be notified when new videos come out. I mean, as a YouTuber, they always go on about it, but it makes a huge difference to getting these videos out. So let's name and shame these people. If you are thinking about getting involved in any Ponzi schemes and you're not sure, you know, look through dehec.com. Go to dehec.com and on the homepage, I give you my Telegram group. Anyone can go in there and ask a question. You can post a Ponzi scheme link and ask whether this is a Ponzi scheme or not. It's not rocket science. It's to heck science. Basically, if it's got crypto in it and also has um, um, multi-level marketing or reward systems, it equals scam. It's not rocket science. So there's so many, there's a real scam demic going out there at the moment. And my job is to name and shame these people. And try to get these people off the streets so um, they don't take money off people like me. Now, I did have one comment from, uh, I, as I said, I was 
premiering the Soundwave version of this video on my YouTube channel while I was recording this one. Tricky. And I got a few comments, so I'm just going to read out one from Stephen. So this Carl guy described how a Ponzi scheme works and then tells people to promote the Ponzi scheme he described and then later shames people for not wanting to promote a fraud. I don't understand why he would brag about making money fraudulently. Yep, that's true. Another comment we got. This could possibly be the most aggressive modern Ponzi scheme. Another one. Throw these people in jail. Brilliant. So we've had a few comments, which is really good. I really appreciate your comments. And that was just the recording. Now I'm going to um, put this out there. I'm Danny DeHeck, and you've been listening to the TubeCast. Now, if you are on my podcast, sorry about the length of this podcast. I hope you were driving somewhere enjoyable while you listen to me. But do check out TechCraft.com. Go to my YouTube channel and check out the videos if you want the um, all the antics behind it. But because this one had more audio in it than graphics, I decided to make it a YouTube um, sorry, YouTube, a tube cast and a Ponzi scheme at the same time. All right. Hey, thanks for listening. Love having you here and stay safe and don't get involved and don't lose that money. Keep your crypto to yourself. Wah. See ya.